<laughs> Hello and welcome to High Rollers D and D, the fifth edition D and D campaign here on the Yogscast Twitch. I am your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me we have Katie. Hello. We have Trot. We have Kim, and we have Tom. Hello. Everyone's looking at me very nervously <laughs> as uh -huh. I am very serious today. I'm very scared, Mark. I'm very scared. Nose. You join us in an epic, not finale, but building up to the end of this first campaign. There are still many things to happen and to be told, um, but we are building up to a finale. Uh, but before we get into today's game, a couple of announcements. Most importantly, a new piece of merch. I hand you over to Katie. Oh, we have new dice! So, so um, we didn't want to end our Lightfall campaign without doing something special to remember, because this campaign's been going for two years now. Yes. So we have got some shiny, in honor of the Lightborn race and the Lightfall, which was the whole premise of this campaign, we have some golden dice. They're very, very shiny. Uh, they're on store.yogscast.com just now. Um, so yeah. yeah. We did say there was something else in the works. There still is. They're very. Oh, oh there oh, they are. Look at that. Oh, they are very shiny, though. Very, very shiny. They are gold, shiny. The case is a lovely black and gold. Um, if you've bought any of our other. Where's the eight sets, shot? There it is. They also roll very well. Four. <laughs> <laughs> we make no promises that they roll high. Um, so, but they yeah. are like the rest of our metal dice. 18. Very solid, available on store.yogscast.com. Yep, they're the same as all the other dice sets that we've done so far. This will be the last dice set of this type. Mm -hmm. We're working on new things for future things. So this is like the last uh, the last one for this campaign. Um, yeah. So yeah, please, please support us and buy one because this is a lovely celebration of everything that we've done for the past two years. Very nice. It's gold. It's also their gold dice. Also yeah. the gold. Pretty we've gone platinum, guys. <laughs> gone platinum. Well, platinum gold. Gone gold. Next gone gold. we'll have diamond. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, diamond dice. That'd be nice. So, no, platinum dice would be the next one. It's copper, silver, gold, platinum. When are we going to do bone dice out of Tom's bone spurs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could do that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that's merch. Anyway, um. I'm looking so weak at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so we're another, harvesting. Uh, <laughs> you can get that. Another thing, we've had a lot of comments this qu this week about um, MCM Comic Con. We are not confirmed attending. Yes. We do not know. So please don't assume that we will be there. If we will be there, we will always announce on our Twitter at How and here TV. on the stream. And we will here, tell on, you the here stream. on the stream. Um, so that's just a little little yes. PSA about that. The and thing to remember about that is that ultimately it's whether the Yogs cast are going. So we don't generally go to things just as high rollers. So if the Yogs cast are going to something, we'll generally be there. Um, but keep an eye on our Twitter, as Katie mentioned. Keep an eye on the stream here. Yeah. And also, you know, if you follow any of the Yogscast channels, they'll also generally announce when we're going to be at stuff as well. It's yeah. very statistical of you. Isn't that right, Tom? Stats, you say? Yeah. I want to give a nice little shout out to my current favourite High Rollers Stats Twitter page, which has been updating on everything that we do. <laughs> whether we roll natural 20s, whether we roll natural 1s, whether we throw the dice across the table. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's great. Um, that's, he genuinely is this excited about I it. I come in every single day like 20% <laughs> higher, Mark. <laughs> um, at High Rollers Fans on Twitter or highrollerstats.weebly.com. Oh, Weebly. so good. Yeah. Weebly. Weebly.com. Weebly. Highrollerstats.weebly.com. On Twitter. Really, really good. I love it. Last thing of announcements before I get into the recap. Uh, if you're not aware, I am currently doing a show with Roleplay, which is It's Me, JP, and Skinny Ghost and Kobold's uh, show. Um, we just recorded a thing for their Patreons where we talk about the new campaign that we're playing. It's called Far Verona, uh, and it's in a stars without number setting. It's very, very cool. Um, you can go and check that out. There'll be more information posted on there at Roleplay Twitter and all that kind of good stuff as well. I'm really excited I get to be a player and potentially be a giant robot pilot. What? So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, anyway. Cross-pollinating. Cross-pollinating. Recap. I'm not a robot pilot. Are you ready? One. No, you're not. Uh, a recap <laughs> then. You? So, for the last few sessions, our party have been battling the armies of the Broken Sky, this group, this force that they have been facing off against, that their adventures have had them clashing with over artifacts, over places, towns, prisoners, all sorts of things. Eventually, this has culminated in a siege on the city of Talis Val, the capital of the Dawn Republic. The party have defended the city walls. They have even cleared out threats that descended from an airship which hovered over the city itself. There have been some casualties. Some of their allies have uh, been lost in the process. Some have survived. And last time, the party flew up 
to the airship itself aboard uh, on uh, Lady Amarillith, a silver dragon, uh, who flew you up there, sustaining some several injuries herself. And you fought against elite royal guards of Princess Felania, this cloud giant that has kind of been your nemesis, this arch enemy. You fought against her royal guards and made your way across the ship and down into, its, uh, into the bows of it, where you discovered a control room. Upon entering inside, you fought against what you thought at the time was Felania herself. Uh, seemingly with crystal floating screens that were watching various parts of the city with a scry spell. You fought desperately against her, various powerful spells leveraged your way, but you managed to overcome it. Only for the final blow, a flame strike by Cam Buckland to reveal that it was some sort of creature made from snow and ice, made in Felania's image, called the Simulacrum. As you killed her, the echoes and memory of Felania's face appearing on these crystal screens haunts you still. Her last words, if I can't have your miserable city, no one will, still lingers in your mind. Um, you feel the thrum and the hum of energy of the airship around you, and there is almost an anticipation. You all seem to expect this airship to suddenly drop from the sky, but it doesn't. Oh. You begin to hear faint sounds, um, what maybe sounds like an alarm, some sort of like shrill ringing noise echoing throughout the ship. Um, but it does not plummet from the sky. The screens have some sort of magical glow, but they don't seem to be active. Um, you get the impression that they can, they are somehow tied to the power of the ship. Uh, there is a faint glowing blue circle in the middle of this control room that Falani was initially standing on when you entered. And that's it. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, she must be doing something to the city. She should <clears throat> go back up and... The Sea Lady Amy. If she's okay. Maybe she's seen something from the top. In the last episode, I used True Sight to see if there was anything below decks, and I saw a magical kind of power source. That was here. And this was this control this room. room. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything to loot? Um, <clears throat> just some ice. Her, there's, yeah, like, I mean, that's almost melted into nothing but water now. Um, the crystal screens float about 15, 20 feet in the air. They're, you know, quite large. They're about maybe the size of a small building, sort of like, you know, uh, sort of like a large size of a couple of windows stuck together, maybe. I'm going to sprint back to the surface, walking over the blue the deck of the control ship. pad as I go. Okay. See if anything happens. Uh, there is like a faint pulse. Um, you get the sense that almost as you step over it, you you sense that there's this kind of, you get this feeling that you could possibly feed some of your own magical energy into it, but that's all you kind of, you kind of just step over it and you say, begin making your way up. As I'm running past. Alora, stand on the blue thing. You can probably control it. Bye. I'm going to see Lady Amy. And you start running up. What the rest of you do? I would go out of the room and warn everyone that I'm about to open the trap door at the bottom. Don't split Why would up. you do that? Well, because the trap door at the bottom, we could see down into the city, couldn't we? Well, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, so you could So see there's that. a blue... There's a blue... Where she like was standing. Like a circle where she, where she was standing with like a blue okay. ring of runes that uh, Cam ran across. Is so a... you go out of the room and you make your way to the control panel that you know activated a trap that uh, would have led to a pitfall. Yeah, yeah, and I want to just open that up and sort of look okay. down just to okay. get a good view. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I want to have a look at this this circle on the floor and see if okay. I know what it would require for okay. me to do. So you can make an arcana check. You were looking around for loot. Well, that's a nice dice. Um, I want to. It's not. It rolled well. Keep an eye on it. Have the crystal screen's gone dark. Buy it now. It's not dark. It's <laughs> almost they... like a magic static. It's just like blue. Like, there's just like a blue glow. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Um, so you're doing that. So you open up this thing, you touch the thing, push, this kind yeah. of pitfall trap opens, um, and you can see down into the city. Looks like a city from about 2,000 feet <laughs> up. Um, you do see forces fleeing the city. Okay. You see broken remnants of what maybe is the broken sky, judging by the large figures. You figure maybe some of the giants are still alive, right. and they appear to be retreating. Um, they are being chased out by elven forces. You can kind of see like little tiny bits of forces, like the, you can see the colours of Talisval okay. mingled in, and they seem to be kind of 
pushing them out, basically. Do I see anything? That's all you see? Taking this, okay. What did you get on the Arcana check? 13. 13. You, looking at it, feeling it, you get the sense that Cam did that you could probably feed your own magical energy, um, effectively spell slots, um, of a certain power. You reckon you'd probably need to be quite powerful, maybe fourth level spell slots or higher. Each time that you do that would allow you to guide the ship. Um, you can basically, this is, seems to be, it's kind of the way that it's, it's flown. It requires a spellcaster to channel their own power into it to fly it around. Um, the screens, you would, because you are familiar with the crystal ball and the scrying spell, function the same way, but you can target three different individuals with the screens. You can basically pick three things and it works exactly as a crystal ball. Okay. That's but what you get. Multiple tar targets. Yes, you can pick up to three different, either a location, creature, or an object. With one scrying spell or three? With one scrying spell. You, mm. Cam Buckland. You run up to the top of the deck, you sprint up. You actually hear, you'd already heard this when you were making your way down, there were other forces aboard the ship, giants, goblin, uh, hobgoblins, that sort of thing. Yep. You hear them abandoning ship. Um, oh. You actually catch some of them, you peek down a corridor and see kind of almost like a balcony, like a kind of open-aired sort of like corridor. And you can see hobgoblins, you know, on griffins and wyverns flying away. You see a few giants kind of activating glowing runes and then flying as if per the fly spell off of the ship. And you can hear this alarm, this kind of like woo, kind of shrill noise. As you continue running- Lady up Amy! <laughs> you get up to the top onto the deck. You do see Lady Amy and she is currently staring off the deck towards the rest of the city. The ship wasn't directly over Talisval's center, it was kind of off to the side. And you can see her kind of like looking up. Um, when you divert your gaze in the same way, as you look up, you see that the thick rain clouds that had covered Talisval for the last several days are very rapidly pulling away. Um, all these clouds, almost as if being controlled by magic, are being pulled away. Blue sky, but you notice that there is a large dark shadow over Champion's Hold in the center of the city. You see on a base of cloud, a giant castle mm -hmm. made from white stone is directly above Champion's Hold, about 3,000 feet, so even higher up than the airship itself. <coughs> and Lady Amy is staring at it. Hey! She looks round. Caminus, what did you kill with this? What happened is... Please tell me that's yours. She <laughs> shakes her head, no, of course not. I'll get the others, we need to go up there, right? Well, I don't know. Felania wasn't real. What? She was in the, the bowels, but she made a copy of herself. And copy? then she said, if you can't have Talisval, no one can. Or she can't have it, no one can. And I think she's gonna destroy the city. We need to stop her. All right, go and fetch the others then. Um, and she, you can see her, she's currently in her f human form. She begins concentrating and you, <laughs> the draconic claws begin cries and she begins transforming back into back. her draconic form. You sprint back. Shouting, everybody's abandoned ship and there's a big floating castle in the sky and I think that's where Felania is and we need to go and kill her. Why is there a big hole in the floor? <laughs> I'm going to order, shut that off, go back into the room. I was not going to make you do that. <laughs> you, you would hear him running, shouting yeah. down, I imagine. <laughs> no, you would know Cam well enough to go... Who <laughs> <laughs> would you? Who would you? Yeah. I think given the circumstances, yeah. he would. Any other circumstance. Um, is it wise for us to leave this control room? It needs power. You get the sense that it's, <sighs> it's remaining stationary. Nobody is powering it right now. And it is just yeah. like. I have very little. If we're gonna fight Felania, I don't have wild shape. I don't have very many spells. If I put spells into this, I'm pretty much gonna be out. What if we were to crash this ship into her castle? Then it's above Champion's Hold. We can't do that. You know what we do have? You are in the room. No time. Let's go. <laughs> how? Where? Where? How? How? How are we? Lady going? Amy's gonna fly us up there. She took. A lot of hits on the way up here. She's... We don't have another way, really. It's either stop Flania and we die, or the city dies. What? I just realised Trell had the communication bracelet. I was, yeah, never mind. Uh, um. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Let's go! We can scry on these screens. We can at I least... can't, I don't have it. 
prepared. I have nothing. I don't have it prepared. Oh, she can't Do you use have it spry? with the circle, like even if she doesn't have it. Uh, you would need to cast the spell. Sorry. I, see. I don't have spell. I don't have the spell. Well, I don't, we don't have it. Look, we can't let's it. go kill Fulania. It's easy. We go kill Fulania <laughs> and then we save the city. What are we discussing? At the moment, if we go and fight Fulania, I, I don't know. Who else is there? I us? <laughs> That's it. No one can get to this castle in time apart from us. So let's go. What's she going to do with the castle above the city? Is she planning on... We don't have time to figure that out. <laughs> I guess. Let's get on Lady Amy's back and let's just suicide run. Come on, it's going to be great. It's suicide run? Yeah. Pretty much is at this point. I, d I don't know what to do with the ship. We don't it know what to do with the here. ship. What are we going to do with the it castle wants... once we get rid of Falania? We'll move it. I don't know. We need to kill the bad person. So the ship is only over a bit of Talisfar. It's kind of imagine you've got Talisfar's a big city. Yeah. Uh, the ship is kind of over. Let's say the if South. If it was area. London, it was over the district. It's, I mean, it's, it's not Camden. over. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's over probably over Journeyman's Run as a district. Okay. The 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 castle, the Cloud Castle, over is Hold. directly over Champions Hold, and you kind of get the impression that these thick clouds that you've been seeing for weeks have been hiding it this whole time. You suspect that it has Whoa. been in position um, directly Ooh. above it. Lol. Um, uh, Did anybody have a look at the control panel? What's this alarm? Oh yeah, can we, s do we know what that means? Abandoned Never. ships? Yeah, it probably just means- <laughs> but why are they, ship. why is everyone jumping off the ship? Probably because cast is gonna blow everything up, I imagine. <laughs> How about that? Let's go! <laughs> that, is, that is a possibility. <laughs> right, you're so everything the light touches. <laughs> <laughs> so you're currently all in the control room. What would you like to do? I know. I, mean, I know what Cam wants to do. So I'm asking I'm just the other three. Hopping on the spot at this moment. Where you, are you all staying around here? You're not running back up to the top, or I'm like beckoning, but you know. You're trying to like pull, like yeah, gesturing with urgency. What magical power do you have left? Not much. I can't move this ship and still have anything left. What about you, Cam? I mean, I could fourth level spell and we could watch TV. Or I could fourth level spell Felania. What's TV? Uh, it's called telepathic visuals. TPV. I, would, um, I don't have high level Telepositional anyway. visuals, actually. <laughs> would, um, Can I check the console, the, the control the blue, thing? Blue I, just, I don't want to touch anything. I just want to see Do if there's anything I can... Do you circle? No, okay, maybe not then. Well, that's, that is the, there is no oh, control see. panel. Okay, there is a, a, a circle, circle of floor. runes and then the crystal screens. Um, uh, what do the runes say? They're arcane symbols. Runes. They're not, they're not language. It's, um, it's arcane. Would sort of. monk magic power it? You've never tried anything like that. You don't know. It's Punch key it. magic is not the same as divine or arcane energy. Um, otherwise, there would be certain nullifications of things that you can do and things that they can do differently. Um, you can certainly try. Mm, I don't want. I mean, to I have spells, try. but technically, we... Raynard, we've. It's kind of a weird thing so because I'm gonna you say can't no quite. That he yeah, it's up to no. you, but. You... Yeah. It wouldn't seem, yeah. It doesn't Can I go really suit up onto the deck and look at that? But you know that there are, I will remind you that you know that there are other mages in the city. It's not just the four of you. Can Lady Amy's cry? Ask her, uh, can I go up onto the deck and look okay. uh, yeah, we'll at when, when you're up onto the deck, with your passive perception. This is why I wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> there is one thing time. which Cam didn't notice that okay. you do. Well. Two things, in fact. The first is the Cloud City is still a thousand feet up. It's, it's high up in the air and you can see spires and that poking up from it. But with your keen vision, you get the sense that some of those spires aren't in the best condition. Some okay. of them appear broken. Some of them appear like they've been destroyed. Um, it looks to be in bad repair. But you also begin to notice that there is some sort of magical energy is rippling through the clouds at the castle's base. Right. And it seems to be kind of this pulse of magic is like... Mm. And that what might be keeping it afloat by the looks of it, or...? It's difficult for you to tell. Um, if you would like to make an arcana check, you can do so. Why not? Probably not. Uh, 15. 15. <sighs> you suspect that there is magic that would keep it aloft. Whatever this effect is, this pulsing, 
is attempting to affect that, either keeping it afloat or possibly stopping it being afloat. What's that? What's, what's your face doing? Huh? What's your face doing? So it's, I wish Cam knew. <laughs> okay. So it's... Laura, what do you see? I will relay said information to Cam. So the pulsing is stopping it from being an intelligence check. <laughs> You're not quite Stop sure. Those, you think that that, okay. the car, you think that what that effect is not normally there. You think that the castle just lives on the clouds. <clears throat> this magical effect is going to do something to it. Hey. Does it seem like that would be for an effect that was from someone in the city? It, you think that it's in the castle. That in the castle. She's going to drop the castle She's gonna drop onto Talos Bar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how strong uh, is Lady Amy? Juto, <laughs> looking at that assumption, I think castle. with Juto and Reynard, if it were to do that, if it were to drop, you suspect that it would annihilate not just Talos Val, the the weight and the speed and everything and the, the distance, the height would likely that. annihilate most of the surrounding area. Um, it could stretch as far as Briarcrest potentially. Um, so it's it was, another lightfall, basically. It, it would be of a similar destructional level, yes. Oh. The lightfall was many different smaller chunks <coughs> hitting different locations. This would be an extremely big, heavy chunk hitting one location. Um, and the shockwave would probably do untold destruction. Whatever Flania is doing that, we need to stop it. What is doing? There's a spell being cast that's disrupting its ability to float and it's going to drop out the sky. Then, yes, I can certainly fly you over there if need be. I've used most of my magical energy to heal as best as I can. I'm going to be crawling on there. her as she's talking. <laughs> she just kind of like scoops you up and puts you on. Do, uh, have you heard we, contact from any of the others? Uh, can... There are scrying stations downstairs. Whoa. However, we do not have enough power. Should I go and fetch someone? I could... I could... Uh, it, fly it could be wise. Lily Street or perhaps yes. Alfred it, up there. If if you can fly someone who is able to do that, or if especially see if they have any knowledge of what that spell could be, so that we can try Should and I fetch them now before we we make for the castle. Yes, bring several that we need. Any power. magical casters and also magic powers the ship. Begin to evacuate. I will do. I will tell Adric to do what he can, and she <laughs> flies down off of ship. Yeah. Wait, I want it. <laughs> she gives you a chance to get off if you want it. <laughs> yeah, I get off. Um, okay. Uh, it, takes about 20, it takes about 15 minutes for Lady Amy to go okay. down there and bring people back. What would you like to do in 15 minutes? Can I have a quick look around as far as I can in 15 minutes to see if, like, below decks and stuff, if there's anything useful for us or a few? I'm like, mm -hmm. not really useful to you. A lot of Ooh. the weapons and things tend to be uh, ammunition for the cannons. Um, there are giant sized weapons, spears, shields, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, can we, like, fire the cannons at the castle? No, the cannons point yes. down. Yeah, the they, cannons they, they, they like down and the high. castle is up higher. <laughs> Just be like, uh, can I fire yeah. some of the fleeing giants? Huh? Uh, the giants are flying out, um, so the cannons, no, you can try and make ranged attacks. Most of them are probably quite far in the time you've been chatting away, yeah. I'm not going to risk it. They're all going to die. Any anyway. potions or anything like that yeah, around? Not here. Uh, in that it's case... Almost, it's almost like they didn't... They kind of worried that this ship might get caught. Any so super didn't... magical relics that stop castles <laughs> falling from the sky? Afraid not. I Maybe what you have upon I'm you. I'm going to ask for some healing. If not, I will use some of my potions. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you are potions. welcome to take a short rest for an hour and spend your hit dice to heal. Can we afford to do that? Because I don't know. Which it's he either that know. or we go into battle. <laughs> I know your characters don't know. It's either that or we go into battle with nothing. Oh, by the way, I've been bleeding like this entire time. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really damaged. That's the point. Is so that I've just been stumbling like. Well, we may as well be resting until Lady Amy gets back, and if that's disrupted within the hour, so be it. So you take 15 minutes to basically take a short rest, except Juju, who's been running around looking for stuff. Um, oh, so I can't. You'll have to you'll reset. If you're running around looking for stuff, you can give up after like 10 minutes, but you're still going to have to start it fresh. Lady Amy returns. Upon her back uh, is Alfred, Nalistri, Trixiana, and uh, the priest, the high priest of Bahamut, who you guys have never learned his name. <laughs> you just know him as the high priest. Priest boy! Uh, the high priest of Bahamut, he, she basically brings all four of them up. Uh, Nalistri throws his arms around you. You can see that he's injured. The rest of them kind of like stumble up. 
Uh, Lady Amy waits. She just kind of like perches on the ship, which does kind of list a little bit with this huge dragon. Um, but the others are like, Lady Amy has told us a little. Oh, this is Alfred. Uh, just show big me the castle, way. Big uh, castle, big uh, castle, big yeah. castle. I, do. I it, at such a range, there is the spells that I have access to. Uh, I cannot, I cannot deduce any further information at this range. We a Lady Amy mentioned that there were some scrying devices here. Yes, don't say. I'll take Alfred to the. Room. Take all of them. Take I them have, all. Have, take all of them. I have a scroll of scrying I have prepared. And he kind of takes with you. Good. Trixiana seems a little out of it. Like, she's still she's quite still shocked. Yeah. But she just kind of goes like, yes, I'll, I'll come as well. And she heads off. Um, Did we rest? You, not a, a, no, you've had 15 minutes of oh. an hour. Like, it took Lady Amy 15 minutes to go down and get them. Oh, right. Short full, rest is an hour. Full return. Yeah. She's oh, a right. dragon. She flies I thought it took like, 15 minutes to get down. No, yeah. it's quick enough that she can fly down and, and get back up. Um, she knows where all these people were located as well. So, And also, being a massive silver dragon, they go, Lady Amy's there. <laughs> so she manages to get them. Can um, you, like, start resting while they run around yeah, doing Yeah, absolutely. It? So you start a long rest. Yeah, I tell everyone that's what I'm going to do. Alfred heads downstairs. Uh, Nelise Tree speaks to you. He's just like, are you all right? For now, For now. but I, I don't... I, we don't have too much left, and I don't know if we can... If that was anything like what Fulani is capable of. I don't know if we can fight her again and live through it, but we can certainly try. Um, um, we're missing a lot of power. He hands you a satchel, uh, which you can, it's got the embossing of the uh, Moonspire um, with uh, the yeah. symbol. She's like, your mother asked me to give these to you. What's in this? Uh, it's four scrolls, Woo! Uh, two Cure Wound scrolls, and uh, two, um, Restore everything scrolls. Restore everything. No, they Kill are not Cloud restore Giant. everything scrolls. Level up to the level 20 scrolls. What level are the Cure Wounds? Fly Castle. Uh, Cure Wounds would Kill be Flania the scrolls. highest One level, which is six. <laughs> Fingers crossed! Come on. And two of them. Two Cure Wounds. Ignoring I just need us. to look at what spells <laughs> she would likely provide. So we've also got 13 HP. Yeah, we, got 13 we need to... I have. That's why I said we need to rest a little. We, we... Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> resting at the moment. Uh, they would probably be Blight at fourth level. How two, many? Two, two Blights and two Cure Wounds at fifth level. Blight. Can anyone cast spells if they read it from a scroll? Uh, you have you to have make to a check. You have to be kind of proficient. Yeah. yeah, if you don't have access to the yeah. spell, you have to make a check to do it, and you have to be, it has to be on your spell list. That's basically. very, uh, very helpful, though. Uh, but she, he, she really said good. these were for you in case of an emergency. I figure I this, this counts, counts as, as one. Emergency. <laughs> Is it Cure uh, Wounds level nine? Level no. six. Level, yeah, six. Oh, Which it's is still upside down. <laughs> Alfred gets down still to the lower good. room and you can see that right. he's somewhat amazed, but he tries to focus on the task. Uh, he gets to the panel, kind of assesses it out. You see him cast an identify spell on the circle, detect magic. He does a few other like low level spells and is like, Right, I believe I have an understanding of how this ship works. Um, I can scry upon different targets. I will target this Felania woman. You have described it to me, but she may be able to resist it. I can Do also target the castle. Do you want me to cast the spell? If you have a scroll, I could cast he it hands because you the I scroll, know... hands you the scroll. Okay. Um, huh? If you know which to target... Uh, Who should we target? Felania. I'm asleep. Me too. Uh, I'm also I need, to, I need you, to rest. Resting is you but. can walk around, you just can't take any strenuous activity. Oh, okay. Right, okay, so, Valania, uh, do we know of any Broken Sky casters or...? From up there, Alora, could you see specific parts of the castle that we could scry upon? <coughs> there was definitely seemed to be three wings, a central wing and then two side wings. So should I scry one on each part of that and then see if she's... So the least you recommends, I think you should try Falani, or even if she yeah. resists it, I believe it just means that she is aware try Falani that she's scryed upon. Yeah. You will at least get a glimpse of what she may be up to. But Falania. this this one scrying spell will activate it all three. three. It will activate three. Yes. I think I say central wing. Does she possess Falania's an item you are aware of? Uh, an yes, item can also be a, used as a part of the She has circlet. an amulet or something, doesn't she? She has a little circlet, circlet on her head, but I don't know if the simulacrum. If you can I'll remember just, it, you can I'll scry just, upon it. I'll just scry upon Felania herself. If you're spending all her oh, spell wait, power trying to crash it. Is it, is it better to do it on an item? Can I do it on an She's item? Literally a I'm just checking. Crasher. Yeah. Nice. I remember the color of her fingernails, if that helps. Brilliant. Very helpful. Oh, it's a particular creature, no, it has yeah, to be it has creatures. To be a creature. It has to be so creatures. Felania. It can't even be places, actually. 
for Lania. You Shall we do one for the ground to keep an eye? Uh, it has to be a creature. It has to ah, be it's my creature. mistake. No, I mean like someone oh. on the ground. Oh, someone on the ground. Yeah, you could do Adric or do, something like that. Should we do Adric. Korak, Felania, and... Who would she Someone have who's there? staying here. Who would be a right-hand person? Well, we could do people in the uh, council. Did we kill that... We order? know Korak's on the ground. Did we kill that blue uh, dragonborn? Varash. Yes. Varash. Yes, a very long time ago. <laughs> Victoria. There was the, the wizard that went off with Loban. Hmm. I think um, potentially it, it might be more risk? beneficial to scry someone on the ground, Felania, and someone who's going to stay on the airship so we Andrew, cover. Felania and Milistri. Wait, but we can only we check the people on the ship so, from the so ship. Just so that we have. Uh, yeah, That's Milistri, true. I am tapped out fighting that dragon, took every reserve of magic I have. Uh, Trixania? Uh, yes, Cam. Your communication thingy, can I have it? Yes. And she just takes it off and just hands it to you straight away. <laughs> she just and Nilistri has the other one, doesn't Nilistri has the so. other one. I can still activate this if you require it, yes. Oop. Alfred, I believe, can maintain the ship. Alfred is like, uh, yes, I believe I can at least prevent it from doing any damage. The main thing is that having a way to get off this ship should anything happen to it. Uh, Lady Amy is like, I will fly back once I can drop okay. you off and fly back here. Okay. Um... I'd say so far, it's only been about five minutes of conversation. What would you like to do? Are you going to cast Scry? Yeah. Okay. On Felania. Felania, just Adric. Victoria, just Borak, in case. And Victoria, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Like, okay. just as a third, if we okay. get a third anyway, then. Okay. And your spell save DC is? 18. Okay. The... I'd say you are familiar with Felania, which would give her a minus five, but you don't have any, like, likenesses or possessions of hers. Actually... Oh, do we? In the room? The clothes of the simulacrum would remain. Oh. Only clothes. There's no like magic items or jewellery, but clothes would have to be provided. This is as close as we can. Which get, would so count. Sure. Yep, so that's another minus four. So she has minus nine to this. Whoa. And your spell save DC is? 18. Okay. Adric. Okay. Victoria doesn't even work. Oh, she might she be dead. She is probably dead. Um, judging by oh, well. So Adric, they're a willing creature, one, right? They, <coughs> Adric, well, it's they don't. He doesn't know who's cast the spell, who's cast but, but I'm familiar with him, so he. So Adric's one, it just pops up, and you can see that he is ordering people around. Um, the you don't get audio, you just get visuals for now. Um, but he is ordering people around, and there appears to be a, a desperate attempt to evacuate as best as possible. Right. Okay. Um, okay. You actually next to him is your mother, who is constantly doing <laughs> transport via plants and mm. sending people through okay. transport cool. via plants. Um, they seem to be focusing on the injured and trying to get them out as quickly as possible. Um, the other screen, the one for Victoria, blank, nothing happens. Felania's screen. You see the mist of the screen kind of clears and it blurs for a moment and then it comes into view and you see a throne made from stone and metal shaped like a thunderstorm itself, like clouds billowing with lightning sort of like curved down on the arms and things like that. Um, she's not sat in it, but instead stood in front and you can see in the range of the sensor four pillars um, crackling with storm energy emblazoned with giant runes. The runes all read, you two recognize them as being the runes of flight or, or air and they are crackling and she is siphoning power from them into her hands. Um, but there is something else you notice. This Felania looks very different to the one you just previously fought. It is still the same woman, the same giant woman with blue skin, white hair, but her clothes are not as refined. They are dirty and ragged. Um, not filthy, but just as if they've been uncared for for a long time. Her hair is not glamorous and windswept. Parts of it is stuck to her sweat-soaked face. It is dirty, tangled in parts. Um, her eyes are dark circles underneath, and you can see that her cheeks are soaked with tears, and she is just grimacing in pain. And you think you know why, because as the sensor moves round, protruding from her shoulder and her back is about a five-foot-long, one-foot-wide shard of dawn shard, glowing lightful remnant just sticking out of her shoulder pulsating and you can see that she is in agony as she's casting this ritual or performing this spell um, and she seems to be incredibly in pain um, and she's just there sucking this energy away and she does not look 
the previous Filoni you fought was very well refined, very composed. This woman does not seem that way. Um, she's always been using a <coughs> single acrobat to <sighs> communicate and things, I guess. But. Yeah, that we've, so when we've previously seen her when she's been... You've never seen her like this. She's always presented yeah. herself as this prim and yeah. proper warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Does it look like she's using the light force shard to power... To channel the power, it, or it's, it's glowing. damaging her. It's you think that something like that. I mean, the fact that she's not removed it or healed it, like some a wound like that would be agony. Sounds um, like she could also be sorcering its power. Yeah. You certainly know that Dawn Shard enhances magical power. You've you've <laughs> read. You know a little bit about. It either Dawn Shard enhances it or takes it away. So there's a reason that she's kept it in. We need to go and stop her doing this. Uh, whilst you guys, whilst that scrying is going on, Alfred, Nalistri, and Trixiana will all make Arcana checks to see if they can determine the ritual. Come on, Nalistri. Can I see if I would do it? Uh, you can make an Arcana check. Anybody who no, has... Probably not. Uh, Nalistri gets... Uh, a 13? 13. Oh, Cam's actually got a rare moment of 17. intelligence. 17. 17. It's not as high as <laughs> Nalistri's 19, but it's not far off. You, Cam... Watching the ritual, just the very nature of the magic, um, the runes themselves, which I guess Reynard and Juta would say stand for flight or air, yeah. she is draining that power away, and yeah. you suspect mm. that there is maybe... <coughs> it would take some time to do, but not that long. Um, perhaps a couple of hours, if she, depending on when she started doing it. Um, would take to drain enough energy away to cause the castle to drop. Nilistri, out loud, is just like, that ritual is ancient and arcane and not one I'm familiar with, but it won't be able to be completed quickly. I think maybe she requires perhaps an hour for each column. Um, for each column, and there's mm. four columns. But with the more columns that she disables, the castle will potentially begin to drop. It just depends on how much and... It depends on if it can be controlled or guided away. Can we reverse the spell and feed power back into the columns? Possibly, possibly. Um, the other element would be that perhaps she seems to be drawing the power into herself. Perhaps if you were to be able to kill her, it may release the energy, but I can't make that as a promise. Um, it may just simply be that you need to fund the energy back in. Does it look like it's feeding it into the Dawn Shard? I don't know. I think the Dawn Shard is enhancing her own abilities rather than the con. That is ancient giant magic. I've read a little on it. They used it a lot in their war against the demon kind. Um, We're not in a fit state to fight her right now. Can we invest an hour? I think you may, yes. I think you may have just enough oh, time, but it will cut time. it close. She yeah. is. I think that by the, if you rest for an hour, she may have disabled two of the columns. That should be enough to keep the castle floating. But if she disables another one, it will begin to fall. Lady Amy. Yes. The ascent up there, how long will it take? By Not long. Uh, I can get you there in a few moments. I will fly as fast as I can. Can we rest on your back? And as soon as an hour is up, you take us there. Yes, certainly, if that's what you wish. Sure. You may be more it's comfortable resting. On... Yeah. It won't this... take me long for me to grab you and fly you there. Yeah. Is this ritual making her stronger? It's difficult to say. The magic that she's withdrawing into herself is not um, power magic. It's not a magic destructive. Hmm. It's more ancient. It's levitation. It may give her the ability to fly without needing to cast spells, but hmm. it may make it may change her. It may fuel her some way. But Have we I been suspect resting the Dawn Shard will provide her with more than enough power. Yes, I've been. We've been resting you are technically time, yeah. taking so a rest trying. at this time. Yeah, we're changing. It's only been like five minutes or so, yeah. so far. So you've got another um, 50 minutes of resting to go. Is it, you say that we might be able to put power into it. Would I need to know that spell to be able to do it? Or could I it can, be any power? I believe I can show any of you that can cast, yourself and Cam, I can show you ways to fund that energy back in. Um, it just depends on how much is needed. I don't know. Yeah. Do you know if a monk's magic would work? Your kind's magic is unusual to me. It's not one I've studied greatly. Um, I know that there are some similarities, possibly, but I couldn't say for sure, I'm afraid, Miss Jing. It is difficult to tell. But if you have relics, magical items, they may also be able to be used. Uh. Maybe that she has some herself that you could use to fund such a thing. But if you can stop her before she disables the last two columns, I don't believe the castle will fall. All right, let's rest and then let's do it. Wish yeah. I had the Um 
Yeah. Alora, right. while you're looking at the castle, is there any way of telling exactly where she is? Yeah, can I get an... Is it the central you one? You can see the range of the sensor is enough that you see a large chamber with this throne room. It's probably It's kind of enough. You know giants. I do. Oh, you might not. Do I know giants' castles? Give me an, give me an intelligence check, but you can have advantage because you're your favourite enemy. So it does roll like, it and add intelligence mod. It does look like it's a very old castle, you say, as well, like in disrepair. Oh, my so goodness. It, when you what glimpsed it, it, it was almost like bad. it's been damaged. It's really bad. Right, it's been damaged. <coughs> it's not old, it's been damaged. Seven. Seven. With advantage. Wow. Do you not have any bonuses to intelligence? Zero. Zero. Plus zero. Uh, so, you try and rack your minds about what your uncle taught you about giants. Um, you know the different types. Cloud giants are very regal. They, they, they have these like cloud kingdoms and things like that. It's difficult to tell. Like, probably in the big main wing, yeah. somewhere central. Could I? Would there be? But if you got closer, you might be able to track her. Can I? Oh, that's true. I could. Roll something. Insight. Could I? Could I roll a hit? What? What kind of thing would you like to do? What are you trying to? What are you to, trying to, to accomplish? To kind of maybe have an idea of where the throne room would be. Okay. I don't um, know if Juto, with her experience of being enslaved, would be like, well, she's a narcissist, she'd be in the middle. Uh, it's possible you didn't really spend a lot of time in like the main central capital, but yeah, sure, make me an intelligence check. Just straight up intelligence, d20 plus intelligence. 17. 17. It's not really much because of your background, but because of what you've seen of Felania. She, you have seen you know, scries of her with very extravagant backgrounds and things like that, you suspect it's likely in the very middle of the castle. Mm -hmm. um, you suspect that it will be only one entrance um, as a way to, you know, enhance the fact that not only is it more secure, but also the importance of such a place. Um, you suspect, yeah, somewhere around the middle. I relay that. Okay. So. Uh -huh. You finish a short rest, yeah. you guys can spend hit dice, so you can roll hit dice to heal yourselves. Each hit dice you roll, you do get your con modifier to as well. Yep, 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 so yep. do it one by one. Right. Or if wow. you want to, roll lots and then add it all together. But just Zero, don't forget is that 10? That is 10, so, but don't forget to add your con mod as well. 12. So you get 12 and then, so you can roll them mm -hmm. multiple ones, but just make sure you add your con mod, because a lot of the times you guys forget to do that. Two. I always forget, because I'm dumb. Oh my god. 24. 28. Uh, Four. Uh, uh, sort of panic rolling. 41. <laughs> so you gain all the benefits of a short rest, any abilities that you uh, get, that come back on a short rest okay. you get. So you've got wild shapes. Um, it's 10. 52. <laughs> Roll better. I've rolled like four ones. I've rolled. Well, One, good job, two, you've got 14 three, four, hit dice to spend. Five, six. I rolled I rolled two, five, six, six, seven, seven. <laughs> so I'm back to full health of 75. <laughs> um, five, oh. So, while you guys are resting, uh, you watch as Alfred, Trixiana, and Elystri basically spend more time in the control room figuring things out. Um, they begin devising ways to kind of manage uh, communication and even Trixiano's kind of being brought out of her stuns to pour a little bit. Uh, she seems to have a few spell slots left, so Alfred delegates some control to her if he gets tired. Uh, and yeah, the rest of it, they leave you to rest. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Yep. How are we all so doing for spells? Uh, we so have most what people we have. don't get their spells back on short rest. Yeah, we don't get them back. Well, uh, but at least we've got uh, one. Your, you got wild shape. You get your channel divinity back. <laughs> Short rest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know your abilities that it's well. It's a long rest. No. Uh, Cam, can I have Kim's rubber, please? <laughs> <laughs> rubber. I like how you called me Cam, but Kim, Kim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fucking hell. Use this one for yes, now, please. please. Yeah. <laughs> can you please stop throwing things around? Thank you. Right. <laughs> So <coughs> I'm getting on to Lady Amy. Give him a little pat. Temporary leader. Temporary uh, health points from inspiring leader. I believe that goes away after an hour. Fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pat her and say, you know, out of all the silver dragons I've speaking. ever met, you are absolutely one of the best. 
Thank you. I appreciate that, Cam. I'm sure I'm also the only sort of dragon you have ever met. But I'm glad it's, you're the only one because no one would ever match you. <laughs> pat, pat. Pat, pat. Are you still trying to make up for early Being Well, let's not. Well, let's talk about the future she and just how we're going to save the You hear like city. a small chuckle and a sort of like, I appreciate Mr. Buckley. Um, I'll spend a little bit of time with Millie Streep. Just... Just chatting and stuff. And um, actually, no. It just basically, so the inspiring leader, they would remain, but they can't gain more until you finish a short or long rest from the ability. So you could do inspiring leader again. I'm not feeling too inspired, to be honest. Myself, <laughs> let alone okay. ready to spend it on everyone else. Okay. Is Fine. there anyone uh, with, with Trixiana, maybe? Could I ask her if she's seen Gronka? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, she's like, she kind of. You have to take a moment of like, you, you know, like, and she's like, oh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, I did. Um, she was with your uncle, I believe, Mr. Felix. Yes. They were helping Adric with something. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember what. Uh, I'm not quite, I, I can't forget that young man. And, and, and she just kind of goes quiet for a bit. But she, she seemed fine. She had some injuries, but she wasn't letting them stop her. Uh, That's Gronka. I think uh, they simply were trying to do their best for the city when Lady Amy arrived. Good to know. Well. Uh, can I go to Lady Amy? She's in dragon form, right? She's currently in dragon form. And she's counts. pushing Cam up onto her back. I'm guessing that you are all now yeah. eventually coming to... Uh, Lady Amy, a quick word, please. I, I, I appreciate you have... She's the like, human, but... Her neck kind of winds down next to yours, this kind of large draconic head. I trust you with this. If I should fall, I ask you one favor. Please could you return my ashes to Brasaris? There is a village on the border. They will know what to do. She nods and you can see her eyes go a bit glassy and she just, of course, Adric would, Adric would want to know this as well. Look he up. and I would be honored to do so. Look after him. Yes, of course. She just nods, but please, please do come back, Miss Jane, please. I intend to. Good. Uh, with that, I'm assuming you I'll all... say bye to Nelly Stray yeah. and give him lots of hugs and, yeah. and tell him to keep my mother safe and get her out. I, I believe that she's currently saving most of Talis Val as it stands, but yes, of course. I uh, try not to even come here. I didn't want her anywhere near this, but she did it anyway. She so. did. She wanted to ensure... Where's your dad? Yes. Did your dad come through as well? Uh, no, so far, like he, he says, Alth Althadon <laughs> was strictly forbidden, much to his annoyance. But Still looking for a sword. Um, she confiscated his sword. I will stay in communication, Mr. Buckland. Do you have the other communication bracelets? I do. I if there is any developments, I will let you know. Request. Yes. If I am to fall. Yes. Please. You didn't hear that. Oh, did I not? No. no. All right. That doesn't happen. You're like on Lady Amy's back. That's like a good ten feet, and Juto was whispering. Yeah. So. <laughs> you can try. Um, well, good luck. Uh, we will wait here. Um, if need be, we can. If you, if Lady Amy for some reason cannot come and fetch you, let us know. Alfred, myself, or Trixiana should be able to guide the ship towards the castle. Boom. You have right. to focus. So you focus for a moment, um, and then you can send a minor image through. Waving at Lee Street. Like <laughs> little hologram, and he's like. Yes, please try not to use it unless you absolutely have to. Oh, really? Just, it might break. <laughs> I'm trying to okay. waft away the image. <laughs> Eventually, whoosh, <laughs> away. Right, and I assume that you make yes. your way. We go up. Yeah, I don't want it! Okay. <laughs> For Talisval. Well. For Talisval. For Talisval. Well. Lady Talis Amy's well. wings beat furiously as she flies off the deck of the airship <laughs> and up into the air. Uh, towards the Cloud Castle. As she begins approaching, you notice the castle itself, the grounds of it, are, as Elora spotted, ruined in many places. Several, several towers have collapsed, embedded with what appears to be fall shards. Many of it has been destroyed by fall shards, much the way that Iraq was. Um, large parts of the castle have been crushed, and you can see that there is, it is in bad repair. Lady Amy flies you closer, and there is a large courtyard um, that she can like land on. 
but she is too, even for a giant sized castle, she can't <coughs> quite fit uh, into the buildings themselves. The doorways are still 15 foot tall, but she's wide and with her wingspan, it's difficult for her to move it. But there is a large courtyard. Um, you descend off of her back. It seems to lead up into the main central wing. She bows her head. I'm afraid I have no more spells, but I can offer a prayer to Bahamut for you. I will return to the airship. Uh, let Nalishri know if you need me, and I will come fly to you. Good luck. We don't need it. I'm going to give one of the Kirwin scrolls to you. And she flies off. Could I, I uh, do oh. a check to... Because you've been careful. Uh, it's tracking her, but like... Mm -hmm. Just try and work out where she is. Yeah, absolutely. Survival. Oh. Uh, you have advantage. That's 24. 24. So, you hit the ground. Reynard falls into a stance. He begins checking around, listening, focusing <laughs> what he knows. Looking, a bit. looking around. Is he having a seizure? <laughs> he might be. You get the sense. Maybe it's a hunch. Maybe it's destiny telling you where they are. But you feel that she is central in a large room about on the second floor. You think you can easily find your way there. Hmm. Fist up. Yep. Spin my hand. Just do a little twirl. Mm -hmm. Point, point. <laughs> you want us to take your head off? No, 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 no. Uh, she's that way. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, going to stop and cast aid on everybody at level two. What's that? What do we get? So what we do get we, what 10 we? HP. 10, it ten. Max, increases Wait. your maximum hit points by 10. It's five. Maximum hit points. If you're casting five. at level two, yes, yeah. it's five. Five. Woo, AC! Well, I'll check that. Uh, it is a... I don't want people yelling at me. Maximum hit points? It's a level, level two. It's a level Your two. hit point maximum and current it's hit fine. points increase by five for the duration, which is eight hours. Okay. So cool. you, that can HC be goes that up by five. If I was can plot me a potion, I'd go up to 80, not... You are at 80 now. If you yeah, were at 7.4, but, but if you if go I down, yes. Down, yeah, then I your can maximum If I get knocked down, I go back Unless that gets dispelled, at which point that will is a magical effect to be that? dispelled. Just saying. Um, <laughs> okay. With Reynard mm. leading the way, you make your way through this castle. And there is something sad <clears throat> and tragic about this place. As you make your way through, you see lots of finery. You see glorious tapestries, but they've become marred with age, kind of bit kind of falling apart a little bit. You see grand furniture, like chairs of rich wood inlaid with gold and silver and gemstones, giant sized, but dusty and unkempt. Um, many of the corridors are empty. Some have dark red stains, old dried buds, sent, you know, perhaps decades old, um, scattered around the place. There is, you hear no other creatures, you see no other creatures as you make your way through. Um, when I cast aid, yes. did I feel any uh, disruption from the fall shards? It seems to be that the fall shards are either small enough that they're not affecting the whole area, or that they are located in around the other towers. Like this central area seems to be fairly free. Um, mm. You get the Glad sense I that- I place herself near them, I don't think. Unless she had the ability well, to. True, well, I mean, negate it, yeah, true. <laughs> well, I mean, there's I some just... that negate magic though, uh -huh. and some mm -hmm. that don't. I'll whisper as we're going. It seems like I can cast spells fine, so. Well, we'll see. We good? Okay. We'll see. You make your oh, way sorry. through this castle, like Reynard leading the way. You pick up faint traces. You almost swear at points you can hear what sounds like anguished, anguished screaming. Um, but you also get sense of, you kind of get a scent of what was probably once rich perfume, but mixed with sweat and dirt. Oh, right. And you begin sort of like trying to follow this along. There are no real footsteps, but you do occasionally see signs that maybe somebody passed this way. Uh, a dusty vase with fingerprints just brushed along its side in a certain direction. Hmm. And again, following this hunch, this kind of feeling deep down that you're going the right way, leads you to a set of uh, a large corridor that was probably once quite quite glamorous. It once had, it has statues and alcoves of these different giants, these huge 16 foot tall stone figures with weapons and armor, um, an old faded rug, like almost like a, a luxurious carpet leading towards the stone stairs leading up. And you think that leading up just past these stairs through another corridor, there is a set of double doors that may lead into this throne room. I don't suppose we can hear 
You Spell hear, cast over here. You hear faint humming, like a drum, like a, th a thrum of power kind of pulsating throughout the castle. Oh, everyone. Um, yeah. Everybody can hear that. I'd say Alora, you occasionally maybe hear the same sort of like screams, like almost as if somebody was in a, in a sorrowed rage, kind of a mix okay. of sobs and cries, but screams as well. I'm crying and sobbing next to <laughs> <laughs> I think that she, she's lost hope. If she can't have the city, she's just gonna, this is the end for her. Do you think perhaps we can reason with her? I don't think, I think she's very angry. I don't think she'll listen, but. Do you think perhaps we should just end her suffering? <laughs> it seems like she might do that herself. Unless take she everyone intends with to, yeah, I don't know. Well, if she just absorbs the ability to be fly, she may just leave. Yeah, true. Then what will she, she have left? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's we probably can try. about 50, 60 feet. You've got to head up these stairways, head up this large set of stairs, down a corridor, and then the doors you think will lead straight into the room. There is only seemingly one entrance and exit. Does the rest of the castle look like it had, I mean, obviously it had quite a lot of people in before, like a long, long time ago, mm. but does it look like there was a, a like a battle that took place here, or if it was a... Just a gradual... Not a battle, just destruction a long time ago. Yeah. Maybe around the same time as the light fall, but... She mentioned a father once before. Um, can I roll a, like, I don't know, remembering check? Can you make yeah. an intelligence check? Mm -hmm. Is there any, like, tapestry yeah. or any, like... Oh, there's tapestries or... all over the places, yeah. Like, you see, like, tapestries that depict storm giants, these kind of impressive folks who are literally harnessing the storms down. Mm -hmm. um, probably the more recent looking ones would depict a man, large beard, storm giant, who is actually looming over a kingdom, a small kingdom um, that looks like the Dawn Republic, like long, long ago before the light fall, but he is almost like protectively holding up the clouds above it, um, standing triumphantly. Oh. Um, around him are four children. Uh, one of which looks like Felania. Mm. A young girl, a uh, storm giant or cloud giant girl with long white hair, um, blue skin, but she looks happier. Um, she clings to her father's leg, protectively. Mm. I, I just remember, mm. I think it was when we were in the mines that she mm. talked about her father. She said he used to rule. <clears throat> yeah. I got a nine, so. I, I, just, I know I wrote it down, but I can't find it. Felania's backstory. He's having a great time with a daddy. He's holding up the clouds, protecting the Dawn Republic. Full shard, boom, really bad, or something happens as she causes it, and accidentally kills dad. She goes to the sand, Dawn shard at her back, she's like, whoa, whoa look at that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it powers her up, she goes insane, and she wants to take over, and How could she have survived? Out. In the scrying. She's a cloud there, giant. Was it lighting up with sort of it light It powers her, type. but also maybe it's Glow. making her Yes. That we would recognize. It causes pain yes. as well. You would recognize because you've seen it with Cam before. So yeah, she's got, she's, she potentially can come back if she goes down. Are we able to destroy Dawnshine? I don't, I don't know. We've never tried it. I'm sure that we Wait, could. what? She, her, the shard on her back when she, it was glowing with the same glow that you had in your hair. All you have to do is hit her again. Well, She'll be very weak. Unless. So with the flight from Lady Amy and your progression through the cast in this conversation now. It's been about 20 minutes since you left. We should keep moving. Yeah. We should just, go. just carry on. <laughs> I just, I'm keeping you guys apprised. Perhaps of we like can appeal to her about her father. Her father would not want, he was a protector of Talisval in this land. He would not want her to destroy it. Yeah. We don't know for sure. That could trigger her to, you know, enrage. I she think could that either way she we're wouldn't be focusing on the pillars. She might want to stop and might want to speed up the process, is what yeah. I'm saying. It could well be Let's this isn't just... Felania at all anymore, at least what it was. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. keep moving. I think we it just is have worth to go and see her. thinking about. Okay. Definitely. It's up there. So, you make your way up the stairs, down a large corridor, where you see more of, like, tapestries, art objects. You see a lot of stone sculpture, lots of stone statues, lots of beautiful artworks laid with gemstones. Even walking through here, you reckon that there's a lot of wealth still in this castle. Not the kind of wealth that you can just pickpocket and put in your bags and head home, but certainly the city of Talisval could probably send people up here to excavate and, and reclaim wealth from. Um, 
and eventually it leads you to a pair of double doors upon which you see each of the six types of giants, five of them praising towards one central storm giant figure. This one appears to be gender neutral, it appears to be both sort of male, masculine and feminine, um, just kind of like standing over them, holding up the, the sky, um, storm clouds kind of tracing down their arms um, and they appear to be sort of like the main motif and from behind this door you hear a powerful humming, you hear the crackle of lightning and thunder and just this like, <sighs> like this wailing scream and hot and, and sob. Um, are there any magical items? Not on the way here. I mean, can you to tell magic items at yeah. first glance? Or? Um, am I allowed to sort of, because I've found what she said about her father. How does that work in terms of metagaming? You don't really have an eidetic memory. There is a feat you can take if you'd like one, but with that nine, I'd say that, yeah, yeah. Juto remembers that there was something about her father and that he was some sort of ruler, but that was about it. And judging by what you've seen, that certainly, yeah, seems to make sense. got his name right here. I mean, no. That's right. I don't think I wrote his name down. I don't suppose I, with knowledge of giants, would I have known of a giant that yeah. could hold yeah. back the sky? I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You would definitely know that the storm giants themselves are, they are the masters of the storm and, and yeah. storm and sky. That's generally what they're known for. Um, they are supposedly the storm giants are protectors of the small folk, though when angered, they are, vengeful. they are horribly vengeful to the point where they will annihilate kingdoms if they are angered. Da, 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 um, da, da, da. And the main thing is that, yeah, like they do worship a god called Aman, uh, who you know, was their god, uh, and he's the one who de decided the ordning, the ordning of the giants. Well, I'm a man. <laughs> ha ha. For it's those like of you at home. Man or something like that, I can't <laughs> It was episode Somebody 58. Somebody in chat will post it, but yeah. So, you stand before these doors. Um, do we detect any sort of traps, like similar to what we came across in the airship? Make an investigation check. Oh, yeah. I could, I could use that. Nine. It's not perception, to be. so no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do investigation, I won't use the spells for it. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> as far as you guys are concerned, it just appears to be a metal door. Cool. It's got to be trapped. <laughs> it's, it's a door. Why would Ten. it be trapped? This is the last... She doesn't Ten. want to, us to stop her doing this. I don't Could think she really, possibly really prepared choice. for us to... She prepared for everything else. Mm, true. It's almost certainly trapped. Can I please go into Void Stance? One minute. True vision. Uh, you detect no illusions. You detect no invisible creatures. Uh, there is nothing unseen. You would say, I'd say with the idea of true sight, you can kind of see that there is an incredible, powerful, magical source behind the door. Um, no visual illusions. No visual illusions. Illusion. Nothing in the ethereal plane. Nothing in the ethereal plane. Cool. Okay. <sighs> Elora steps up. You put your hands on it. Push. Nothing happens. You push. And the door's open. Oh. <laughs> She's back, I don't like it. Okay, I'm there oh, already. already there. <laughs> Hi, oh, me. There. <laughs> oh, so, God. You see... Oh, that is... A large chamber in disrepair. A large open uh, or audience chamber, you could call it, with two large balconies on either side that rise up. Um, moving down into the the, moving okay. down into the room itself, there are four columns. Um, around a giant throne made of stone and standing before that is the bedraggled Valania that you can see. The castle is a mix of stone and cloud itself, like the cloud has actually taken a form of its own. Um, this whole area at the back that you can see is seemingly made from cloud itself, mm. um, almost like a giant Mount Olympus kind of style cloud. And then the rest of it is made from an incredibly finely worked stone. Um, parts of it, however, do appear to be ramshackle to the point where there is actually a large open pit um, which actually seems to look down on Talisval itself. 
it is that. Uh, that this. one. <laughs> <laughs> the big is that one. There's a balcony stone. in the way. Is, is that normal stone? Though? That is normal stone. It appears okay. to be recessed, like cracked and broken. Okay. Might have run out of the Orphan Forge, but never Oh, mind. right, okay. Um, I just wondered if it no, had any significance. No, it is normal. Was this part of the... Yeah, shit, that was the, there last week. Yeah, it was there. Oh. It was. Oh, no. oh, it was there last week. So why wouldn't it be on the... On the simulacrum, that's a good question. You guys aren't arcane spellcasters, but it is a curious matter. So uh, Mark already predicted that two of the pillars were gone, oh. maybe? Yeah. What? Cool. These, so, oh, these are two broken pillars, I'm guessing. They are seemingly, you can see that the they're broken pillars. and rune magic has evaporated from them. Cool. Um, as you step in, you can see Felania is just there coiling this magic into her palms. And it looks like she has been crying for hours. Like her tears are just like soaked, her eyes red and sore, um, black all around them as if like she's not slept. And she kind of just looks up, this hair kind of stuck to half of her face with sweat and tears. The other half kind of just like loosely hanging around her. And she just kind of looks up. You won't stop me. You won't stop me. This, all of this was meant to be mine. And you have ruined that. I am going to destroy your city or I am going to take your lives or both. If you want to stop me, come and take this magic from me. But I haven't endured pain for decades. You will not rob me of this! And a voice echoes down the chamber. Take the magic from me, right. What right do you have to take the lives of thousands on the floor? I don't care for rights. I will take what I want and I will destroy what I want. What made you this way? What happened? Well, now you wish to know, do you? Of course. Before you die, yeah. yeah. And before your city is destroyed, yes. It was, you know the destruction of the light fall. Did you think that your little small kingdom was the only one affected? No, we bore the brunt of it for you. Your little Dawn Republic would have been annihilated if it wasn't for our kingdom. My father's kingdom was decimated by that disease, that magical atrocity that one of your kind has caused, no doubt. I was the only one left. But I was always told that I was special, that I had a great destiny, child of cloud and storm. <laughs> I was going to rule everything. I was going to make our kingdom great. And then I watched it all crumble. I watched yours crumble and grow weak under that council. I was going to rule all of it, but you had to stop me. You had to make the 46 years I have enjoyed, endured agony every day from this, this crystal pointless. Well, we'll see. I'll make sure I leave a legacy, a legacy even greater than the light falls. Would it be a legacy your father is proud of? My father is dead. Your They're father- They're all dead. Your father died. It doesn't matter defending now. Defending this land. Are you mocking his death by destroying it? Destroying the land he saved? You know nothing of our ways. You don't know giants. My father represented strength. He used his to protect, yes. But as long as I leave a legacy, something worthy of my destiny, I know he'll be proud of me. Just you watch as the magic is pulling away from the, the third pillar and begins siphoning away now fully and you can watch it beginning to crack and crumble. If you destroy this land, who is left to speak of your legacy? Are you so arrogant to believe that you are the only ones in this place? Oh no, the dragons will remember me. That little empire in the south will remember me. That miserable land to the north will remember me. The giants of the other places will remember me. And she just seems to her eyes kind of like focus on these two pillars and then they kind of snap open. Enough talking. If you wish to save your little city, come and do something about it. Or you are quite happy to just sit there and watch and you can fall with this castle. 
I for a Two feet away. It's quite far. It's quite far. <laughs> I can't see that so well. I suppose we could have spent this entire time like walking closer to her, or unless we were doing it. Yeah. yeah you can you can work walk closer. I would stop you if you got within thirty feet of her. Okay. Like as in she would do something if you got yeah. within thirty right. feet. Sure. I guess we'll all kind of walk in. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> um. mm. Oh, I thought you had a plan. <laughs> no, I don't have a plan. Oh. I'm just trying to get... Are you ready to do something? No. No, but we're going to just have to... Just... She's watching you very closely, as if awaiting some, you to do something. She's literally harnessing this power. I mean, I'll look at Cam and just like... Nod. What if we were to remove the Dawn Shard and end your suffering? Do you think that would matter? Do you think that that wouldn't matter to anything else I've done? You have ruined my plans for the last months. You have stopped me ruling this kingdom. What is mine, what is my destiny? By all means, remove this blasted thing from my shoulder. I will perhaps end your lives quicker as a mercy for it. But no, no, I'm committed to this now. It is this or nothing. Either I die at your hands here or I destroy everything below. My name is remembered forever. As the greatest traitor of all for your legacy and your family. If that is what it requires to fulfill my destiny, then yes. Um, oh, I'm gonna give you all the idea right now. You've yeah. interacted with enough. She's pretty fucking loco. She, yeah. she does not seem to be yeah. rational in it's her mind. Work. That could be caused by all of this pain that she's claimed that she's endured. It could be that she is ill, like mentally ill, and is incapable of rationally making Rational an agreement thought, with you. Yeah. But, <laughs> you're throwing Nimbus. Yeah. Can I okay. roll Why in that happened, I was also... He's throwing Nimbus. Okay. I mean, yeah. Can I, I... I mean, me and Cam, we kind of had a nod towards each other. Then, Did we do it at the same time? Maybe. I was just going to hunt this mark. Okay, you hunt, <laughs> okay. So, hunt this mark, you throw the knife. However, as soon as you, like, bring it up to thingy, and go, you throw the thing, her hands just come in, you see this kind of like, <laughs> and you watch as this kind of shield of cold fire erupts around her. Um, make your attack roll, please. And then it's going to be initiative from everybody. Okie dokie. Has she acted? Um, yes, technically she oh, has. Okay, fair enough. She had a readied action. 25. To hit? Yeah. No sneak attack damage. Oh, it hits. I thought it was like... No, oh, no, it, it hits. It's a cold fire. She just kind of... It just no like, sneak whoosh. attack. No sneak attack. Do I get my divine strike? You do. I think... 15. This will... So... So, 15 damage. Yeah, 7 of which is poison. Yep, that's fine. That affects her. So, uh, let's roll initiative, and then we'll have a quick break. Cool. What? <laughs> it's break time. We're not allowed to break now. Well, I mean, it's better to break before we is start. That? It yeah. is literally 20 past 6 for strong. So let's roll in the ship, <laughs> and then we'll take a break. All right. Um, and I am not don't go anywhere, because I don't want to. <laughs> I need a wee. Be back um, soon. <laughs> lost that dice. We're not doing it. Well, we're, we're rolling initiative. Oh, they're getting because I was caught. I got a 16. 16 for Cam. Elora. 22. Juto. That sucks. Because I need to be at the end. 19. Really. OK. So, with that initiative recorded, we'll join, we'll see you after a break to conclude this very epic battle. Yeah. Have a panic <laughs> wee like us. See you in a bit. See you in Bye. A bit. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Welcome back to High Rollers. You join us as combat is just about to begin. In the Sky Castle, which now currently looms over Talus Val, threatening to destroy it from above, the party has infiltrated and interrupted Falania, the real Falania, as she is powering the ritual to cause the castle to fall out of the sky. Real Ania. And we roll the initiative, and it is Elora's turn. Which I am going to... I want to be further down the initiative order. Okay, so you'd so, like to delay? Yes, because I, I don't want to okay. be first because of the spell stuff. Okay. So I think it's unwise. You basically, you have an initiative of one at this point. Yeah, um, purely because mm -hmm. with resistances and stuff, I don't think it's... Okay. So Elora just waits. You basically you just stood there. You Sussing let the others out. go. Um, okay. You give them a few seconds to take their action. So we go to Reynard. Okay. So I did I hunt his mark. You did before the battle began. Yes. So do I still have bonus action? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I would like to move over here to the right hand side <coughs> of the room, and I will just ping a couple times. Oh, I'll sharpshoot it. What about that other thing? I. We'll do that. Favourite so that's enemy. Favourite enemy. Favourite enemy. I remember well, that Well, let's one. do sharpshoot first. So that's 13 plus 11 minus 5. <gasps> 19. Minus 19. Yep, yeah, hits. Okay. Hey. So one D And do I, I... Thunder damage, I guess. Thunder damage, no. No thunder and damage. Da, 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 da. That, that. She's still more cloud jet. Cloud both. Six. She mentioned that she was a child of both, actually, I thought she was in a conversation. She said Storm and Yeah, it seemed to be that it was initially hinted that she was, but she mentioned that she was a child of both. Uh, 27 for the first one, damage-wise. 27. What? Um, what? Good oh. job, Rainy. Sharpshooter. Yeah. Yeah. Sharpshooter and favoured enemy. And favoured enemy. But he didn't add it! 31. <laughs> oh my god! This is only a this very important terrible. fight. 31 damage from the I'm first one. stab you yes. with a pencil every the time you forget. second shot was... 13 plus 9, so 22 minus 5, that's 17. Does that hit? 17 does not hit. Okay, fine. Uh, and I will, I guess... So you watch as these bolts fly towards Felania. This chill shield erupts around her, but the first bolt just kind of like grazes her arm. The second one just, she just dodges to the side as it, and it thuds into the throne behind her. And you see as part of the throne begin to crumble. Cool. And then she just looks at Reynard. And I'll, I've launched Axel 30 feet He's ahead of me. Okay ready to intercept. At the end of your turn, <coughs> she's going to take the first of her legendary, well, some of her legendary actions, and you watch as three duplicates of Falania kind of oh. whoop, 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 out from around her. Juto, you are unaffected by this spell. If uh -oh. you are maintaining Void Stance. Yeah, I ain't getting out of that shit. Whoop, 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 these three kind of things, and you, you, they mix together, and you're not sure which was the original one. Am I allowed? Uh, what's the kind of reaction? Like, can I shout? Like, given Doesn't but I have to wait until my initiative. You, you think you can attack the real one? You can tell which ones are illusions. But every, t if you go to shout out, oh, it's that one, they merge and then quickly move around. So it's oh. basically you, you don't have the penalty. Mm -hmm. um, it is after Reynard. That's the legendary action. Cam, fuck, let's go. Um, I'm going to try and tuck. Five, ten, fifteen. Is this a ledge here? I guess it's like foot level. It's like step. yeah, you can easily step up on it. It's like a. It's probably more higher. It's like five foot ledge, but you can just kind of like hoist yourself over it. It's trying to spread, but not be near the pit. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm going to crouch down and pray for a divine intervention from Avandra. Right. <laughs> what divine? <laughs> what are you praying for? <laughs> Tell me your prayer. Avandra. I wish for angelical assistance that can help fight this threat. I know I'm your favy. <laughs> <laughs> you are using divine intervention, yes? So, yeah. D100, favor. and you are level 14. Favor. So you need to roll a 14 or lower on a D100. Everyone cross your oh fingers! Oh my god, this is such a... <laughs> oh my this is, this this is a Hail again. Mary. This if is this a Hail Mary. Again. This will be nuts if this works again. I mean, is everyone shouting favor? No. no. Oh. You hear a very distant voice um, that is just, it, it just it kind of echoes across the time and it's like, I'm so sorry, Cam. There are other matters in other worlds that I need to focus on. I, I cannot send you help. You must do this by yourself. It's okay, buddy. I believe in you. <laughs> buddy. That's your action, I believe? Yes. 
other matters in other worlds. Brilliant. Um, oh, you're not the only world and you're not the only worshippers of Avandra. So. Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in Avandra. Bonus action. <laughs> not my god. Can I do something? What would you like to do? The thing? Uh, that's bonus? an action. Okay, never mind. A bonus action, I will... Two of these. <laughs> <laughs> nice. At the end of your turn then, she's just like... I am so tired of your insults! And a thunderbolt appears in her hand. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Ooh. Can you actually roll it, like, properly? Yeah, okay. That was, like, in a tray. Ooh, fair. <laughs> 21. 21, that's just enough. Oh, uh, oh yeah! <laughs> so, you still take some damage as this thunderbolt streaks through the air striking the area where you, this, this kind of force erupts around you. That's only going to be five thunder damage. I've already halved it. Um, as this thunderbolt uh, engulfs you. Uh, Juto, in fact. Mm. <clears throat> and she's like throwing these thunderbolts. It's, it's kind of like multiple ones, but you're only being hit by this one force. It's just like, I am tired of... Your ensign is just like <laughs> sending like stone and rocks oh. flying around you. Is bringing me here close enough to attack her? Uh, your reach is five foot. You would need to be five foot further ahead, I'm afraid. So would she would be able to hit you in theory, but you couldn't hit to her. Dash you would have to bonus action dash, yeah, which is a key point. Point. Key point. Key point. Key point. Okay. Um, if I could. So bonus action dash to get up. Can I sort of like use the throne? I want to hit her, but I want to try and hit the, the, the shard. The charge, yeah. So if it's move... an object, do I get times two damage on it? Yes, if you can hit it. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, is it's part of her, mm -hmm. so she can move her body and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so just see. Yeah. Okay. So, so move due to where you want to go. So you've got another sort of like fifty feet of movement afterwards. Sort of like... Yeah. So you can basically be like put yourself yeah. on the. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, and then make an attack roll with the Gwandao. Now don't forget, actually, if you want to use Void Stance, I believe it's only unarmed strikes that get the bonus damage to objects. So you wouldn't be yeah. for the Gwandao on this. Um, 12 plus 9 is 21. 21. That would hit her. It wouldn't. She would turn her body to kind of protect the shard, but you would still hit her. But I'm going to use her reaction to use Shield, which boosts her AC, uh, which means it is a miss. For the rest of the turn? Or? Uh, until the start of her next turn, I believe, or the end of her next um, turn. Can I use my extra attack? Because mm -hmm. I can still do that. But can I use it? So I've still got stakes from when we went after Vampire Bud. Mm -hmm. um, can I like try and mark her with it so these guys can see which one the real Fulani is? Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to tell you that the second you go to do it, the others magically have the same stake. Okay. Like the illusions adapt to any damage you do, any markings that okay. you do. Okay. It's kind of the point of this whole spell is <clears throat> only because your true sight is the only way that you can tell them apart. To the others, it's just like they're constantly shifting in in each other. Of a, in a, which case, nice can I shout out? And yeah, say, it's just the way the spell works. Can I shout out and say, I am looking at the true Felania? Okay. So, like, yeah. Know, yeah. I, I can so. modify the way the spell works because you're guiding them, mm -hmm. but it doesn't quite negate the effect. I mean, so, we can see what she's fighting, like. But the thing is, is well, you no, see which one she's fighting, switching, but then moving, they're switching yeah. and moving yeah, okay. around and like. I get yeah. it. But I mean, it, definitely, you, you are like pointing the guand out and you're like moving around mm -hmm. and Focus. gesturing towards the one that you know is the right one, which will help them. Yeah. So that was a bonus, that was an attack. Do I get an extra attack? I, well, you can make an extra attack. Oh, I forgot to mention, when you hit her, uh, the chill fire, this cold fire around her, you take 2d8 cold damage when you hit her. Freezing hot. That's going to be 11 points of damage, um, cold damage. As you like hit her, this ice just begins to crystallize around your arm and it's, it's burning cold, which is, you can get so cold it burns. It's freezing hot. You can. Freezing, freezing hot. hot. Do you um, really want to make fun of Markisms right now? No. That's him. That's him. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. After what I said last time. Uh, so you can attack again, but you, you suspect that every melee attack against her, you'll take this kind of like icy damage. So with an extra attack, can I use like dodge or something? Can I 
patient defense or something like that, or is that? Well, you've already used your bonus action to dash so, anyway. Yeah, okay. And also, you reckon that it's the striking of the person which causes this kind of like lash of cold fire. Okay. Um, just trying to think if there's another way I can mark her, but probably not. Um, in which case, can I? No, it's an extra attack, isn't it? So I can't like, move into cover. You've done an action and bonus action. Yeah, okay, I will not. I'm not going to strike her. No, so you just. Wait, I have shurikens. Yeah, you could definitely like take a five foot step back and for a shuriken. Yeah, sh screw it, let's do it. Screw it. Very really do it, do it. Do really it. do it. 16. Screw it, just do it. Just Worth hits, a shot. hits the magical shield around her. Um, oh, oh wait, you didn't hit her because you had the match, you had the shield up, so you didn't take that damage. Okay. I forgot that I shielded and so you didn't hit. All right. Um, or is it when you make an attack? Let me just check this, this is important. Sorry, this is me actually slowing the game down for a change. Hit you with a melee attack. So no, you wouldn't have taken that damage. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you go to strike her, but you hit this magical shield, which conveniently stops this kind of icy fire. But you can tell that every time you try and strike her with melee, it will launch this cold fire out at you. I'll yeah. spend my time um, like just trying to, trying to guide everyone. Guide these guys. Her turn. She's gonna kill me. Don't kill me. I've got so On much her turn, move. she will look at Cam Buckland and you watch lightning begin to crackle up her arms and you saw the simulacrum do a similar thing. She casts Chain Lightning. Yep, we're grouped up. Never be near you. Uh, all three of you, not Kim, because she's behind, but okay. the three of you is going to get hit. Never Sorry, be Jesus. near each Axel, other. there's a pylon. Uh, so it's a dexterity saving throw, please. Natural 20! Nice. Um, do I... It's a spell, so do I get the advantage? You do, yes. This is a spell from a giant. 13. Okay, you're taking full damage. You're taking half. 27. You're taking half. <laughs> I remember favorite enemy guy. Just this once. <laughs> <laughs> get another one? <laughs> You take 57 points of damage. Oh! You two would take 20, uh, 27. It's fine. It's fine. One it's fine. hit. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch as she coalesces this power. Um, and you just, she, as she kind of like launches it in your direction, she's just like, I will not be denied my destiny. And this lightning just crackles all around you. Oh my Ultimate power! <laughs> God. Um, Never be near each I mean, we ran away from a dragon when it did something like that to us. And then <laughs> she would just begin making her way towards you. Stomp, stomp, stomp. stomp. You can make an attack opportunity if you would like. But she's still Is got she? no shield, shield haven't Stopping absorbing the power of the pillars. Yes. Um, we save the city. For now. Hey, attack's all. <laughs> Um, but away. <laughs> she's moving towards you and um, you can see that she's kind of like stomping over towards you and she begins, her hand coalesces a sword made of cloud and frost, wow. kind of coalesces in her hand and she's actually looking at Reynard wow. and she's like stomping towards him like... So there's three of her as well? Still spinning around her and I'm stuff. still kind of... Yeah, yeah you can still try and direct towards it. I uh, did you make an attack opportunity? No, because she's still got her shield though. She does. I don't want to die. Shield though. Shield though. So, shield Elora, at the bottom of the initiative, um, where you chose to wait. She right next to me. She's looming over Literally you right Literally right next to me. But yeah. it looks like she's, she's, looks like she's going to walk past you towards Reynard. <laughs> we're, we're like second <laughs> It's almost like she's like, that fucker is really good at ranged. I'm going to get in his face. Freezing hot. I mean, <laughs> I guess she saw the entire simulacrum <clears throat> battle. And that's, yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Blade yep. on her. Oh, as so, a scroll or as a... Doesn't, uh, doesn't matter, they're same level, I'm going to cast it, so... Yeah. Scroll or it wouldn't DC matter. DC is? 18. And it's constitution, yes. 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 Scroll's free there. She passes, so she's going to take half oh, yeah, damage. I'll use the scroll. So yeah, so she's going to take half damage, but... I off. thought she would anyway, but... Yeah. You've seen that she's very physically resistant. So just to clarify, Mark, that yes. hole is 
straight down, clouds it's below. It's like, almost like, a, it, like the stone is broken away and you can see that there is some cloud texture underneath it. And it's probably like maybe once there was a floor below it, but that's also been broken oh, through. And looking up, you can see a hole in the, in the ceiling, almost as if something fell, fell through, through it. it. Oh. And it just goes straight down 3,000 feet to Talisval. Can cloud damage 37 damage? Oh, yeah. Is that half the ready? She probably So can. 15. She's been absorbing that power. You just probably like mm -hmm. float there. <laughs> and she's not floating now because the simulacrum is floating. She's not floating at the moment now. She's, she's just like. I bet she could choose to. She's gonna kick you like a football game. And <laughs> but my, as my bonus action, I will turn into a, an air elemental place. Okay. Do you have yours? I've got a water elemental. Yeah, but air elemental. Okay. Swap so yourself around. Would you like to move? Um, no, because I'm in her area. I'm you could move around her so that you can basically be on like the other side of her and then you're not yeah. leaving sure. the threat range. I'll move around this side then, but yep. with my... Perfect. At the top of the round, you watch as she just screams. Just... <laughs> and the sound is so loud, this kind of thunderous boom erupts. The ceiling above Reynard cracks and crumbles. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. The ceiling? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 24. Okay, so the ceiling crumbles and you kind of action dive roll out of the way <sighs> as these chunks of stone and ceiling just collapse where you were stood and you think it probably would have buried you, like you would have been crushed underneath oh it. God. And you just kind of roll to the side. Um, do I have to physically move my person to do that? Or? Uh, no, but for flavour, sure, do it. Okay. <laughs> Just move yourself one five foot to the side. I hate bosses. Um, and you're prone. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I am dead. And it's now your go. Uh, right, well, and I see her intent of just like... She's like coming at you. Bra. Bra. Five, ten, fifteen, she's backing up a little bit. <laughs> and I'm gonna... You can't run forever, little man. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sharpshoot her. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I'm gonna firstly use uh, Axel. Because it's right there. Right next to her. Um, okay, as you make the attack, give me a second. Okay, Axel, don't roll to hit. Axel flies in and it hits one of these other Falanias, these kind of illusions around her, uh, and it um, it just vanishes. It kind of just. Okay. Um, Ooh, but okay, the attack okay. is wasted. Um, it, are they all? I suppose they're within like five feet of her, aren't they? They are not separate targets. So I can't volley all of them. You could, yeah, sure. Volley I'd let area. you do that. I'd let you do that. Yeah. Volley yeah. the area. I mean, it would have a wide area. Yeah. yeah, I'd say you could do that. So you will target one, the two remaining illusory duplicate, oh, the two other Falanias, and the third Falania. So the two of them, so two shots just don't roll, okay. and then one hits the real Falania. So you so pop the mirror image. Singeing from lightning. I'm like, so oh, I survived in so the body. Can I sharpshoot her? Huh? Can I sharpshoot her a volley? I don't believe so. It says you use, when you you can use your action to make a ranged attack against any number of creatures. Yeah. And in that case, no. I thought it just said as an action you you roll blah blah blah. If it says you make a ranged attack, then you can sharpshoot her. Sweet. Um, um, oh. How does the hunter's mark work with this? Uh, it would add damage. I think 19, uh, 14 to hit. 14 to hit is not enough. And I think uh, that's the my... The shield opinion. has evaporated. So uh, I shot oh, three... the start of her next turn. Yeah, which bit? Sheep. Yeah, no, I think it's gone. And I shot, what, three She's times really. to clear that? Yeah, yeah that was three. Oh, the <laughs> right, so you the illusions are gone. You, well, yeah, yeah, basically, Reynard sees these kind of shifting forms and you just kind of go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you just pepper the whole area and yeah. they hit the illusions and the, the real Falani, it bounces off her um, magical protection. What are you forgetting? Favorite animal. Doesn't matter. You didn't hit. Do any uh, I didn't hit. It didn't right. Hit. Uh, <laughs> well, bonus action you good, did with Axul, so it, it goes to Cam Buckland. Ow! <laughs> um, I'm gonna scrabble away. Mm. You could disengage, but that's your action. She is she currently focused and intent on Reynard still. Yes, but she would still swipe. You reckon that she'd still gladly hit you with this icy long sword she's carrying if you try and run away. I'm gonna stay here and use a, the Cure Wounds scroll on myself. Okay. That's your action. Bonus action, movement. What would you like to do? <sighs> Bonus action, there's not much I can do. Cry? A bit. I could cry. Small bit. No, there's nothing I can do as a bonus action that's useful in this situation. 
Can I? No, I can't really enhance my ability to dodge any attacks with my bonus action. Not with a bonus action. As an action, you can take the dodge action, but. Um, spiritual weapons of bonus. bonus action, yeah. You can cast spiritual weapon. Is it worth it? <laughs> Kinda. Does it's it cost you? Field. All right, yeah, I'll do. Okay. Do you want to use um? You can use this Morella miniature as your spiritual weapon. I've got a blue dagger. Well, great. That looks so good. <laughs> I'm glad that that's on the table. Better than a person. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it right. depends what form you take with the spiritual weapon. You right. true. You could take the form of Morella. What did you get to roll? Uh, I got a 17 plus my. Oh, 20. plus the bonus. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. Spiritual weapon takes the form of a green tights thing. Some Eight. Green object. <laughs> plus my wisdom modifier. Is yes. Five. So, 13. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for adding it up for me, finally. So the spiritual weapon strikes in and she's just like, ah, your little god won't save you now. Don't hurt me. <laughs> um, Did you... Oh, the cure wounds at level six, right? Yes. The so 68 plus your wisdom. 68. Whilst you are doing that, at the end of your turn, she is going to, she is going to, you watch as she summons and the dawn shard pulses for a moment and a thick layer of ice forms armor all around her body. Oh, I'm no, sorry, that's going to be that amount. Oh. And you just watch as this icy armor forms around her. Um, after Cam, it is Juto's go. Would Juto, when she was hit with um, the spirit weapon, mm -hmm. would she have seen that initial cold... It went to hit the spiritual weapon, but the spiritual weapon is not yeah, a creature, so, so it doesn't try and hurt it. Still a thing, and yeah, now she's still got an effect. armor as well. Yeah. <sighs> um, it's almost like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, no, can I'm so. It's almost like Juto's really scary in melee, so she's made ways that yeah. can protect herself. Icy armor? Yes. Would a thunder at Bolt? Maybe. Maybe. She's so. probably. She's, she deals with thunder she damage. Is, Partially made of thunder? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the icy armor itself, from the force of the Whilst boom. You're yeah. thinking about that, Kim, what are you doing? The full shard technically comes under her protection, doesn't it, with that? The dawn shard? Yeah, yes. that's spicy. You can see that part of the ice armor is actually crafted up onto it and stuff like that as well. You can yes. hit the dawn shard, but it's very difficult to do so. Could I hit maybe some of the like ceiling above her and try and get the it? The ceiling above her, the, the room is about 60, 70 feet high. It's huge, this chamber. What about the balcony next? You could hit the balcony. Could I like just throw some mace, like try and get some masonry to like hit her using my ah. force? Like, cause, so because I have unarmed strike to deal force damage. To an object. To an object times two. Yep. Um, can I like, I don't know, like punch a bit of a wall so hard it like flings debris at It's, the, it's, it's not really the force, yeah. it's like you're breaking it apart. It wouldn't fly out and hit somebody else, do you know what I mean? Like you could do things like you could break the base of a pillar and try and land it on her, or you could try and do something like that. But yeah, it's not like you can punch a wall so hard that rock flies out of it like a cat. Yeah. Um, but you could try and, and like, yeah. the debris. You, you could, could throw stuff, you can, yeah. Can I, like, yeah, punch, can I like, I don't know, you smash through the floor, like, no, and drop her through the floor. You want to try? Yeah, you can move up to and smash Ooh. the floor around her. Uh. Yeah. What? We're all there. Yeah. <laughs> can run? What are you doing, Kim? Fly. You can fly. <laughs> what would you like the, to do? The pillars around us, so two of them, they, they're completely gone, right? Yes. And they they can't be um, repowered, like you don't know. she said. Do you, I mean, do you know magic? I'm just betting one of magic. I mean, I think Monk the power is in her. Uh, no, you don't know. You would have to spend some time analyzing those columns. And with the threat of Bolania, you suspect it will take longer than six seconds to properly analyze and determine how to power them. You suspect that you probably need to deal with Bolania in some way first. I think Juto's pretty smart. Can I? I think she could do it in six. Move and like, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna have, I can't attack her while she's still got all this armor and crap on. So can I move? not a stand that has some range things? Or, no. Well, the thing is, Void Stance, really good if I can smash that Dawn Shard. You could just keep going at you it. You need to tell me what you're doing, dude. Yeah. Like, it's taken already. I'm, really I'm going to, I'd like to hide behind okay. 
here. And can, like, can I make it so that if she launches magic, I'm trying to get it to hit the broken pillar? Yes, absolutely, you can do that. So you're basically like maneuvering yourself around there, trying to aim it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So at the end of Juto's go, uh, she will. Hmm. The rush you on this one, Mark. Please, uh, she, another team you watch she, watch, she kind of throws her arm out and a, a gust of force kind of flies around and whips itself around to Juto. Can you make a strength saving throw for me, please? Mm. Oh, so she's, she's going to fight this again. Strength. It's okay. Yep. We learned, strength saving throw. We learned from the simulacrum. We did 20. Clearly. But I only mean we know what this. You are pushed to the very edge as you are basically stop yourself, like gripping onto the wall, like your hand. Yeah crushing through the stone as this gust like almost throws you into the pit. Ooh. Um, yeah. Ooh, boy. She just looks, and she just kind of grins for a moment. Uh, after that, it is actually Falania's go herself. That was a legendary action. She will... Hmm. You're going to be a problem as an arrow. She will look at the very injured Cam Buckland, unfortunately. You have been a thorn in my side and an insult for far too long. That's the dawn shot, not Can me. Can you make a constitution tra constitution saving throw, please? You're going to go back into prison. No, that 13. was a, That was a different save. It was an intelligence. It was an intelligence. I'd put her back in the prison. Put him back in the prison. Back in the prison, you go. I had a lot of thing, by the way. 29 necrotic damage. And she blights you. And you feel this oh. the, the life being sucked out of your form. She's got blight. Right, uh, then it is Elora's go. But I need more of oh, them and then she will. scrolls. Is she moving? <laughs> yep. Swipe a Rooney. Swipe a Rooney. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you both can. Yep. Guess I'm Absolutely. leaving the room at so this point. Is that wise though, Cam Buckland? Fuck He's you. got. A, he can throw it at her though, can't he? Twenty-eight. Uh, well, it's a melee attack. Natural one. It's not a ranged attack. So you no. have to get her in melee. Eighteen. Eighteen does just hit her actually. <laughs> well. Nope. You didn't hit. Eh. Nine. Nine points. You take six cold damage as you strike her. This cold fire, like. <laughs> like Worth it. <laughs> nine points. You said, yeah. Yeah. So a roll of 19 still hit them. That was in... Oh, 18. 18. And she didn't feel like shielding an attack from Cam. Oh, okay. No, um, I just mean even with the ice armor. Shit, that's Oh, cool. the ice armor. Take another oh, so 15 she... points of cold damage, please. I am really sorry. Shut up! <laughs> what? But that, would that mean it... Oh, so uh, it's not adding ice, to any so as, just... as you hit, this ice armor, right. like, spikes into your flesh, like... Rah! I'm sorry, I'm playing can't fair, heal right now. Cam, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got heals? No. Have you got anything to heal yourself anymore? Thank you, Tom. I'm done. <laughs> no. Uh, and like, uh, there's still bits Christ. of her control in my mind. <laughs> uh, but it is now Alora's go. Okay. Does it look like when the ice when the ice took damage, did it deteriorate a little bit? Yes, it did. Yeah. Yes. So we just have Parts to break have through it. Started breaking off. Yeah. So I will. I have enough speed as an airline mm -hmm. to get there. So fly over. I'll try and hit her. Okay. I don't know if I will, but that doesn't. That won't hit. What was it? Thirteen. Yeah, thirteen won't hit. Twenty. Twenty hits. Boom. Booty gum drops. I got full damage. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. Let me just work some stuff here. 15 to a proper edge. damage. <laughs> uh, you, Elora, take 19 cold damage as you watch as the armor cold completely damage. shatters, but this cold oh. fire is still around her, right. and it just sure. lashes out. That's fine. In a triggering a room. In triggering. Um, uh, Reynard, back up to the top. So she is in your face. If I cycle around her and then leave, yes, that. She's it's only still... when I go around the, like, leave it's her It's only range. when you leave her threatened range, which is when you get more than 10 feet away from her. Right, so I'm going to do cycle around the back of her, reload. Yep. Yes, which is I your action. Yep. Um, and you then... You continue your movement and she has disadvantage to attack you. I'll slice away with Axel, because I can fly in 30 feet. So that's your bonus action. Put that there. Yep. Um, Axel. Oh, nice. uh, 27. 
27 um, points. 1d3 shield that. 4 back. and Hunter's Mark. 6, 3, 4, uh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> Did you add favoured enemy? Oh no, it's Axel. Axel doesn't get it. Okay. Yeah, um, and then you're going to try and, I forgot you, again. and then you're going to use your <laughs> movement to so dis, to run away from. I her. want to yeah move out of her range, and she has disadvantage. She does have disadvantage. So she tries to swing this sword down. Natural one. Um, you the ice just all around the floor, but you ha ha. Rain off Herahon. <laughs> also, because I've already reloaded, and she tried to make an attack on me. You get to make an attack back. I'm going to shoot her. back. At oh her. nice. Can I sharpshoot at that? Yes. It's a ranged attack, you can sharpshoot everything. Good use. It's if he yeah. hits, if he hits, remind him. Oh. <laughs> uh, 21, 31, 24, 20 something, 20, above can't. 20. She can't shield it, <laughs> you hit. Um, I've got favoured enemy, by the way. <laughs> Someone is whispering in my <laughs> ear. Um, uh, oh, that's Ooh. not good. One, six. Oh. Um, <laughs> sharpshooter. Yeah, he still adds 16 or something. 12, 22. That was a good round. That's with 26. Fuck! He forgot! It's sharpshooter, it messes me up. Three times. I don't know why. You watch Reynard literally throws himself back as this sword scrapes the floor, sending ice shards everywhere. As he's flying through the air, he finishes locking in the clip. And then just as his feet hit the ground, he skids backwards. Whoa. You! Oh, she mad. Um, Next to you, I'm like, I'm so proud of you, bro. <laughs> She's going to thunderbolt you as a legendary action. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, I get advantage. Yes, you do. Oh! Um, 13. No, uh, sorry, 15. 15, you are going to take 17 points of lightning damage. Owie. As this thunderbolt <laughs> hits into you, striking you in the chest. Oh, God, that was a action-packed little round, wasn't it? It really it? was. Yeah, Buckland. <laughs> Bonus action, superior potion. Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Superior is eight. Blug, blug, blug. I believe. Plus eight. Um. I'd like to imagine that for Cam, it tastes like grapes. Like, oh, yeah. Grapes <laughs> it's like soda. whatever your favorite thing is yeah. that tastes like that. <laughs> yeah. Noodles. Oh, pretty good. 28. <laughs> oh, <Christ. laughs> 28 hit points. Bonus action to drink a potion on your own turn, so. What does it cost to throw a potion to a person? Action. Risky. Yeah. I'd say you'd probably have to make a ranged attack to throw it, and then not it'd probably it. be an action for them to drink it. Yeah. Fair enough. Don't throw it. Don't. Well, I just don't. Okay. No. All right. It's no. Just, I've got a lot, and I don't think I'm going to use it. So you watch as Cam holds up Goldheart, this dagger that he got from Evandra after defeating Karen Blackhearth. Uh -huh. He grips the coin that is attached to it by a chain. Pulls. Cam. The world pauses. Everybody is frozen almost in time and you feel Avandra's presence with you. She's not physically here, but you feel her presence envelop you. I'm sorry you had to use this after I've given it to you so soon. But I'm how can very I very stubborn. <laughs> so, I've got a couple of options, and I know you're the best at this. What would you like me to help you with? You can see Fulania, right? I'm aware of what's going on. She has a Dawn Shard in her shoulder. Yes. Would this remove that, destroy it? I can remove that, yes. I cannot promise that this will change her demeanor. I cannot promise that this will sway her from her path, but it will make her spells less effective, and it may free her from the pain that's been agonizing her for these last 50 odd years. Is that what you wish? Is that truly what you wish? I can't actually wish to not. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I that was, that's, no contract is happening there. <laughs> um, any more than that, it'll be risky, right? There are many things you can do with this gift. I can grant you a spell. I can perform deeds. This already will require Substantial. some drainage of your own strength. This will weaken you heavily. Um, if you request more than anything of a powerful spell, that is the nature of the wish. I wish for you to summon a companion that can help us fight. That is achievable as a spell, and thus I can ensure it happens. Just let me check one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I need
need to check. She's flicking through a phone book. <laughs> mm. right, Who's available? Right. Who's available? Left, yeah, yeah. right. Left, right. I just want to check that this is, hey, Larry. This is <laughs> something you can duplicate as a spell so you don't suffer the penalties of the wish. So it's a wish that you're... He is basically using a wish, yeah. I wish for two wishes. <laughs> a wish for World infinite broken. wishes. Okay, yeah, this would, <clears throat> this would function. Uh, she says, normally this spell would require a payment in exchange for time. Normally this would be required. You consider the payment fulfilled. It will only be able to aid you for this battle. As soon as this battle is concluded, the servant will disappear. That's all that matters. Very well. And I send to you a Deva. And suddenly, can things fall back into time? You watch as Reynard scoots back. The thunderbolt hits him in the chest. And then there is a flash of light. And appearing in the thin air, the same one that took Crownrend away. A blue skinned humanoid with hu with feathery angelic wings with arrives. Yeah, is he, is he wearing? No, he arrives in a superhero pose, kind of like hand on the ground, this flash of light around him, eyes of blazing light. He pulls free a sword of the same blazing energy. Oh. Cam Buckland, I am here to aid you. Oh, you now, uh, if you've got so D&D cool. Beyond, grab the Diva stats and you can use that. Or do you want to use my monster manual? Can I bro fist it? Uh, bro fist it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to use my monster manual? I've got it, thank you. You got it there? Oh my um, god, okay. Goosey bumps. Goosey yep. bumps. So, can you roll an initiative for the day before me, please? I shall. <laughs> Which one did I roll? That one. That one. <laughs> At his dex. Uh, 20. Okay. Uh, he will go on his next days. initiative. Okay, and you're aware of no, all his abilities? No, he rolled 60. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, Cam, that was your action. You still have movement and a bonus action left. I'm gonna... The bonus, I put the day no, you used the bonus action to get a potion. So he did. Bonus action right. to potion, you action so you can move. Uh, where... Uh, should we get a mini for the D? Uh, well, that's gonna have to use this for now. <laughs> Just use... Uh, Morella. Morella. Uh, I, guess I wish they, I had an angel mini, but I don't. They know. can't move right now, right? No, he's kind of just appeared, and he's I think I'm just going to stay behind the the, the, diva. the diva. Okay, and um, Sweet. that's it. Okay, uh, after Cam Juto, uh, I would like to attack Felania, please. Um, can I use my slow fall to essentially like kip around yep, here? Yep, easily. Like, yeah, there's enough of a ledge that you can kind of move around. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that the, there is the wall goes up like. Like loads. Yeah. I'm like, like, wall like but she can I'm run up. But she can run up the wall, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Lucioing. Okay, so you run up. Um, and then mm -hmm. can I like <laughs> attack her? <laughs> can I do the same thing, like aiming for the full shard, but still hit her if it? I don't. I yeah, yeah, you can aim for it. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. And you're uh, using unarmed strikes if you want to avoid stance this. Nineteen. 19 Wait, is going to hit. Yeah, okay. It doesn't hit the Dawn Shard, but it hits her. Her, okay. Uh, um, six plus. Mm. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> um, 12, 13, 14 total. 14 total. Uh, you take 13 points of cold damage mm -hmm. as you punch in. This icy fire like lacerates your arm. Um, please, may I. Oh, um, can I stunning strike, please? Can't, what's your constitution? I mean, uh, I just it. DC 627, six. so that passes. Uh, so another unarmed strike, and it is 27. That hits, doesn't hit the Dawn Shard. It's basically, you need to get a crit. You need to get a natural. Oh, point. okay. Because it's like, it's this Fair. shard in a Start aiming for that Dawn Shard right. then. But if that you don't aim the for table, it, then a crit is just a normal crit. If you aim for the Dawn Shard, you get a crit. I'm going to say you hit it and you. Yeah. Is it worth aiming for it then? I don't know. Well, you don't know what effect it might have. You still hit if you. You just miss the Dawn Shard and hit the rest of it, yeah. so it might be worth it. Uh, 13 damage. Huh? 13. Uh, uh, yeah. You take another 7. Um, and then can I please limit break? <laughs> on Void Stance. On Void Stance. So you land. So, uh, charge up. Uh, Would that technically hit, me hit the Dawn Shard? Uh, not really. It's not going to do any okay, extra damage. Cool. Um, so that is... Are you so spending additional key points? Um... Yeah. Okay. What's the DC on the saving throw? Uh, 
And what type of saving Dex throw? Dex saving throw. Okay, yep. So I imagine... failed that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to legendary resistance and save, but she still takes half, so. Okay, well, I was going to do one, two, three, four, five. D8, one, two, three. What do you need? Uh, D8. One, two, three. Oh. Four. Two, one. Five, six. That's it. Cool. I need to start with okay. Okay. The beam hits her in the in the sternum and she just kind of shudders, leaving this kind of purple dark bruising and sort of like you can see the skin has been burnt in several places where this kind of collection of key energy strikes her she just kind of grunts <sighs> fine um and that's your turn done Juju. yeah i can't do anything else okay bye everybody she throws one hand out and a gust of wind will blow out again uh, at the end of Kim uh, Juto's turn. Reynard, can you make a strength saving oh, throw, no. for me, please? I'm really close. Okay. You do have advantage. Uh, oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh, just. Just. Just say. You, you feel it pushing you to the edge of this hole, and you're like, you're fighting against the wind, the cape whipping around you. Um, oh. That would have been a close one. I still don't have the On her anymore. turn, can you turn her around and face her? So, yeah. And <laughs> you push her a little back a little bit. Nudging Juto around. <laughs> That's to the ledge there. Yeah. yeah. For me to be on. And then can you count? So. Oh, oh. good stuff. She's going to turn around. She'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And let my cold heart engulf all of you. And a, cold, a cone of icy blast energy is going to launch out. Constitution saving throws from everybody, including the diva, please. Ah! Fail. Uh, I'm going to spend a key point to reroll mine. Okay. 18 for the diva. 18, it's a fail. Oh, is it? Yep. It's well, what, what did you get? Yeah, what did you get, Katie? I failed. I failed. I failed. Well, less than Five. 21. Just pass. I failed. Uh, you still take half from this. This isn't an evasion ability, so. Oh my lord. Those of you who passed, 45 cold damage. <gasps> oh pass. my. If you, that's if you failed it, it's 45. Right. Oh, oh, <laughs> you take 22, Kim. Cold I was damage. like, you're you dead. You're right. Oh, wait. Um, you are technically a frozen statue. What, really? So we can't even... You can still heal him. It doesn't say that he's instantly dead. It's we just potion him? Yeah, you can potion him and stuff. He's just like frozen in place. He's like... Oh. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so she just launches this cone out and just snarls, basically, uh, angrily. And then it is Elora's go. I'm going to hit her. Okay. Probably gonna come out of form doing this. Oh, have you not got much HP? Mm -mm. Worth it. It's not the worst. I guess you get your other spell. Uh, Nineteen. It's gonna hit. She's already used one. Um, she will shield it. Unfortunately, sorry. So she so I won't hit. You don't hit, so you don't okay. take damage, but she. <laughs> That'll hit. 18, 19, 20, yeah, yeah, still gonna hit. Uh, 26. Still hits her. So you're gonna take six cold damage after this. What's her armor doing? 15 uh, The damage? armor broke a while ago. Okay. How many, sorry, six? Uh, you took six, how much did you deal? Uh, 15. Uh, 15. 15. So is this still the burning coal thing? I think so, yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out numbers. Yes, okay. this is this, the oh, so cold far. fire that's surrounding her currently. You can see it's just kind of like constantly Whoop. flickering all over her body, kind of in swirling uh, around her and things like that. Just let go of it. Um, <laughs> just like, so yeah, so you take the six, and then is that form. you done? No, I'm, okay. I'm good. Um, okay. At yeah. 
I, yeah. I'm gonna move actually around still in her area. But... Someone tuck in the corner. Uh, That'll do. <laughs> okay, so at the top of the round, um, this time she kind of like just ah, does that and wind kind of spills out from all around her and it kind of turns into a kind of furious whirlwind that's going to catch the Deva, Cam and Reynard in the center of the room. Oh my. Um, can you make, <clears throat> you and the Deva, please make uh, strength saving throws? Oh. Advantage still? Uh, yes, you technically have a 22 advantage. for the Deva. Okay, the Deva is fine. Uh, Cam is a frozen statue. I got 11. 11. Cam is kind of like being thrown around in this wind. It's like a mini cyclone. He's kind of being thrown around <laughs> in it. You are, anything. you are being buffeted by this wind. Currently, while you are affected in this manner, uh, you are dragged into the center. Oh, um, good. <laughs> and you cannot move more than five feet. You have disadvantage on attack rolls, and to cast spells, you must make a concentration check, as you are basically being buffeted by this <clears throat> incredibly strong force of wind surrounding you. Um, and it's now your go, Reynard. Is it? Oh, sorry, the Deva. The Deva is at 20, yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it's, it's very important because I have the Deva. And he passed it, didn't he? So he yes, yeah, he he's just kind of like, like, the wings are just beating and kind of keeping Little it. Wings. Can he grab me? Yes, he just grabs he up. He has an ability called Healing Touch. Sure. Ooh. And oh, it, yeah. it's 48. Okay, you can roll that. Okay, do you like? 48, damn. Four. Can you just roll 48? <laughs> Save time, goddammit. I lost the count because of that, so you wasted my time. Now. <laughs> 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 uh, I hate him so much. <laughs> 15 plus 2, 17 HP. So you are on 17. The, the ice melts away. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hold on to his gripping arm. Yeah, she's like holding you. He's like, come on. Um... And he's going to put me on the floor out of the buffeted zone. Yep, sure. And can he... He can move out of it, yeah. <laughs> okay. So his action was healing touch, though, so... Yeah, he's just there. Okay. Uh, actually, can he... Uh, his movement is... Wow, a billion. I'm going to move him around here to the side. What? Oh, oh that's where Juto is. Yeah, what Juto's doing? there. I'm right there. Stop standing okay. on me. Could you go behind? Yeah, he does, yeah, he does that. Okay. At the end of his turn, she's gonna use one of her legendary actions, and there is a clap of thunder around her. Cool. Uh, so anybody who is within 10 feet, oh. so that is Juto, oh. Deva, and um, Laura. I am resistant! Can you, you are resistant. <laughs> Can you um, move Juto and pick her up for me? <laughs> and move her over here. Whoa. Oh. No, not Juto, Felania. Oh, Felania. Oh. Um, and yeah, Swipe. Felania, Juto, no, it's ah. teleportation. So she oh. vanishes in a clap of thunder, like, <laughs> um, and appears in front of the throne. Um, Juto, Deva, and Elora, constitution saving throws, please. What about my sword? Axel doesn't take damage. So. Hey. 14. I would like to re roll. You have to take that result, then. All of her saving throws are 21, right? So. Yes. Yeah, you do. Oh, fuck. You but do have to take the second one. result. There you go. It's the danger. So, uh, what did the David get? Plus six, like it's plus five. Either. I mean, she, her DC is really high. <laughs> yeah, twenty-one. I'm just saying it's not a natural one, is no, it? No, it's no it's automatic fail. fail. No. Yeah, so it's six. What did you get? I failed. You, you failed, but you're resistant to thunder damage, yep. right? Fourteen. Fourteen and Juto, you right. So the Deva and Juto, all, all of you are taking six, uh, fourteen points of thunder damage, but that's halved for Laura, who takes seven. Oh, fourteen. Right. That's just her teleporting, guys. Yeah. yeah. Yes, she did that as a, as a legendary action. She's cute. And she kind of, you almost see her turn into a, like a bolt of lightning and then she crackles, appears in front of the, uh, the thing. Do you think you are strong enough? You are nothing. Uh, Raymond. 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 Uh, so how many, how much, how many, how much, how many, how many do I need to move to get out of this whirlwind? So you need to move 10 feet. So you can move five feet as it currently stands. And I've got fleet of foot, so that's bonus oh. action dash. Oh, yeah, you could do that then. You could bonus action dash and then Hot be out of the wind. Dog. So Hot dog. Dingo dango. Okay. Don't nibby. I'm going to turn. Don't go near people. Oh. He's there now. Ah, don't you come, I, the rule problem is me. Um, oh. I may as well. Oh, I guess I can't move Axel. Ah, oh, he's making a face. He's just realized he can do something amazing. Oh, she does have a sound drop as well. 
Seventh level spell slot. What? No. Shit me. Chain lightning, seventh level. Anyway, Reynard, what are you doing? I'm just gonna sharpshoot her twice again. Okay. Just kill her, that would be good. Enemy. He's got a hit. Remind him after he hits. He still one, forgot. That one doesn't hits. hit. Oh god, also that one doesn't hit 19 minus 5. Both no. hits. Yeah. So that sharpshooter let you down. Uh, you watch that the buffeting winds in the center of the room just whip the bolts out of the direction. Yeah. Fail to account hits, for yeah, it. Damn it. Um, so you move, <laughs> you bonus, bonus action, and then you have action. So that's the end yeah. of your go. Um, I think it's a bonus action, please. Okay, so uh, Cam Buckland. Okay, as an action, I'm going to cast. I'm really uh, bleeding. Um, He's got to count this. <laughs> uh, mass cure wounds. Okay. And that is a 3d8 plus my spell casting ability modifier. Pretty much to everybody, I think, so. Whee! Does that work for everyone? Yeah, it will hit everybody, yeah. 13. Including the Deva. 17, plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is a plus 10. Damn. Modifier. Plus no. 5. Wisdom. Wisdom. She wisdom. Plus 5, then. So how, 17. So 22. If it was 17, 17 plus 5, it's 22. Everybody gets everybody, 22. Including, including, including the Deva. Yeah. Um, would you like to move or bonus action? Uh, I would like to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Get behind this. Yeah. I bonus action. Bonus well. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So just send the spiritual weapon towards <laughs> her. Okay. Sorry, Dad. Just keep my mic off. Oh, um, uh, it's your go, Juta. Cool. I was just going to count. Um, so if it's. Uh, what HP did I say? Oh, he's back up to It was 22. Oh. Um, please, may I go up here? Mm hmm. Like sort of in this little corner. Does that count as cover? Half you can cover? get cover from there, yeah. Teeny bit of cover. Yeah. Can I bonus action water stance? Yes. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and water whip. Yep. Her. So you can use one that, of your attacks that water is whip. That water is. whip. Yep. Uh, strength save. Well, you need to hit her first. Need to hit her first. Water whip. Uh, and it's unarmed, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, for fuck! <laughs> Is that a natural one? Yep, yep. Might have so been. With your bonus, that's not going to be enough. The whip kind of yeah. crackles out, but she slices it in half with a sword, sending frozen bits of water smashing to the ground. Just... Where are the natural twenties? Uh, They're not here. <laughs> They're not here. If you, were, if you were next to it, then you could attack with your plan now. Um, I think that's all I can do. Okay, so her go. You two are split up pretty bad, but pretty Reynard, the Elemental, and the Deva are close enough that she is going to chain lightning again. Oh no. She hits Reynard with this. <laughs> so that's dexterity saving throws from Reynard, Elora, and the Deva. Deva. Fail. Reynard, don't forget you have advantage. Yep, got it. 18. Just tell me them in a second. Like. Out of interest. I'll ask you afterwards. What did you get on the saving throw? Uh, 23. What did the Deva 18. get? What did Laura get? So, Elora and the Deva are taking 46 lightning damage. You How does this work if I drop, though? So, however much HP till you drop. Oh, wait, I'm, oh, wait, I'm resistant. How much is it? I'm resistant, so. To lightning? And thunder. Just thunder. Okay, Both. so you would take 23. Oh, okay, That's so I'm half. fine then. So you're still in air elemental. So I'm still in air elemental. Okay, but basically, nice. you would basically you go to zero and then you take any extra into a lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering because of resistance how that would. But I'm fine. Oh, yeah. nice. Still, I'm that's, still in. That's the best. Because so, you healed. Because <laughs> you healed. Mask your wounds heals still my yeah. elemental hit points. So uh, the lightning bolt blasts nice. you, send out. Um, it echoes around the chamber, and then you're still standing. And she's I mean, like, just no. Um, Why just won't you just... die? <laughs> Lol. Because uh, we make Elora. it again. <laughs> My go? Yeah. Well, you die. Wait, 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 w
as a ah, as a circle of the moon, I can. No, nah, it's fine. Yeah, you can spin heal. Yeah, that's what I thought. But you've attacked now, so. 17. 17 damage. Mm -hmm. You take six cold. Still there. Just okay. Hit. Really maximize this air element. Let's hit again. Yeah. Yes. That'll hit. 25. <laughs> oh. 25. Uh, how much damage? You take two cold damage. I just rolled double one. No I'm way. You're still, still in, in it. it. Just. <laughs> still, still standing. 16 damage. Nice. Yeah, so you watch as this air elemental is just pummeling We're flying. We're all going to be dead, and Laura's just going to be like... Just like knocking her down, but every time it does, this cold is like freezing parts of but the air But is it breaking or down on her? It does. The thing is, this is cold fire just wrapping around her whole body. Like, every time oh. you hit her, this cold fire is just... I think it comes from the dome shot. No, she definitely saw her cast some sort of spell on herself. I think it herself. comes from the dome shot. <laughs> uh, at the top of the round, technically the David goes first before her lair action. She's, she, uh, lair action. The Deva has a 90 foot fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll, he'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Just flies around a little bit more. Just, just like, he literally soars up into the air, woof, the wings, charges forward, sword forward. Awesome. It has magical resistance as well, I should really remember that. Uh, yeah, it means he has advantage on saving throw. Multi-attack. So here we go. Oh. So blazing sword. 16 plus eight. Hits. 24. And uh, that is a d6 plus, so this is oh, a six. 10, Okay. plus 4d8 radiant damage. Ooh. You just roll all the damage and just tell me the whole amount. Okay. Because I'm going to get confused. Uh, so that was 10, right? He rolled 10 initially, yeah. plus 4d8 radiant. 28, first attack. Total? I like this guy. 10. That's the total. Okay. That blast, like... This blaze of light just shatters across Felania, and she's just like, ah, screaming. He takes 10 cold damage. <laughs> I just love dramatic description. Takes 10. Oh, he does. Second attack. Nope. Miss. This time, Felania like, brings her own giant frost sword. Ting! Ting! Oh no. Oh no. Fuck. For the lair action, the two broken columns that currently Laura is semi between and Cam is next to. I'm safe. Discharge with a 10 foot wide lightning burst that just goes <laughs> between the two. Can both of you make dexterity saving throws, please? I mean, sir, resist. 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 Nope. <clears throat> 22. 22. You both take five lightning damage. That's already halved. So I've already halved it. Huh. Already have. Yeah, so it's just you take five because he saved and you have resistance, so you take five. Oh, you're out. Oh, you're out. Finally. But well, you're only She's five away. Out. For the Bleh. first time four away. Oh. in two oh. years. I popped her out of it. Yay. Yeah, you did it once before, but you shouldn't have because I, I had resistances. Oh, you took the I big had. bad boss to do it. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so this lightning <laughs> echoes between the two of you. Um, that's the lair <laughs> action. That Rayard. Safe? Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, that's the lair action. So. I'll back up and just. Oh. Axel will slide into my quiver, I suppose. Yep. Um, Slides back in. And I will... I keep on pinging. Uh, sharpshooter. That Daver is a worry. 11 plus 13. Good! She's worried about that, Daver. 19. 19 to hit? Yeah. She's going to shield that. Yeah, I, think, I took 112 hits. damage overall before <laughs> I got out of that because of the heal. Yes. I'm going to sharpshoot her again. Yep. Uh. Uh, 26 minus 5, 21. That's not enough. Oh. The shield. Where are my rolls? Where are the rolls at? <laughs> Don't know. Um, but yeah. I Maybe. Could How is she sharp shoot at every time. <laughs> legendary. legendary. Legendary actions. Oh, well, no. Uh, shield is a reaction. She can use one reaction mm. per turn. Uh, I've got a bonus action. I'm but... playing by the rules, kid. I think you're fine. I'm just going to go right here. You're just going to go over there. Okay. Cam Buckland. Everything. Oh. Um, it's your go. I know. Your special friend is done. Uh, I'm gonna. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing the dos can Look do at what you look at what you want to do in between turns. I, I know, it's I engrossing. Know. I was thinking of the diva. It's very hot. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just going to cast... I've actually got Cure Wounds prepared. You've got Cure Wounds prepared and not just Healing Word. Holy shit. Okay, great. Just roll. Cool. I'm going to cast it <laughs> okay. right, on... Cure What's Wounds that? you have to touch. Have to yeah, touch. you have to touch yeah. them. Oh, hidden behind Are you rolling killer. a d20? You've lost your mind. What level are you casting kill wounds at? Just level one. So d8 plus wisdom. Nine. So that's your action. Nine. Would you like to bonus action? Bonus or action, I'm going to throw my Nimbus, if I can. Uh, so you take, to do it as part of an act, an attack action. Uh, so in which throw a secondary spiritual weapon. weapon. Spiritual, spiritual weapon, great. yeah. Spiritual weapon can attack. Nope. Hits the shield. The radiant, radiant energy being dispersed over the shield as it does. I don't have the spell um, slot to do dispel magic. It's really annoying. At the end of your turn, she is going that. to. Yeah. I want to get rid of that. Ooh. Ooh. She knows that you're going to probably succeed on that. She knows that you're going to do that. She knows that you're pretty good against magic. You're pretty good against magic. So she will. Throw herself out the pit. Throw herself out the pit. Mm. Mm. Herself. behind her. She herself? Herself. Oh, she can hit Elora and Le uh, Reynard with a lightning bolt. Whoa. So oh, as really? a legendary She's action, she does a line straight ahead of her. Uh -oh. uh, she sends a bolt of lightning. Dexterity saves from both of you, please. Uh-oh. Fail. Oh. Failed every single throw. I mean, to be okay. honest, she has very high DC and it's not your forte. 22. You take half damage from this. Okay. That's a lot of dice. But it's a lightning bolt. You know how much damage this I don't is. actually. Oh, I don't uh, have that. It's uh, 8d6. That's a lot of dice. Fuck. <laughs> 30 points of lightning damage to you, 15 points of lightning damage to Reynard. Mm, okay. As this lightning bolt echoes across. Juto, your turn. So she's got a shield up, right? She currently does, yes. But this is the shield which gives her extra AC, not the ice armor. Mm -hmm. uh, am I going to water whip? I don't know. Um, can I? OK, bonus action. I would like to drink a regular healing potion, please. Regular healing potion. Oh, that's what I should have done on my turn. I had a bonus action. Uh, that is eight hit points. Uh, now you know. Um, and then can I... Can I water whip her? Okay, so you make a rain, you make an, an arm strike. There are three things right next to her. 23. Just hits even past the shield. Okay, <laughs> so... So unarmed damage, and then she's gonna make a strength saving throw. She makes it. 10 damage. 10 damage. So I can't pull her can I? No, she passed that. She, you kind of, the whip wraps around her arm and she's just, just like, and just snaps it away. <laughs> her incredible strength. But I can extra attack, can't I? Mm, not with a water whip, it's once per turn. No, but if I move up to her. Yes, if you move up to her, yes, you could. An extra attack or furry, can't I? Yes. Okay, can I move, but can I move? So I'm like, like You here. need to be within five feet of her, so you yeah. need to be touching her. So like, yeah, okay. but just not. Mm. Okay. So make your attack. Um, I will flurry it. Okay. So yeah. one down and then two unarmed strikes. Is it? Yeah, if you're flurrying it blows, yeah. You get one more attack from the Guan Dao because of extra attack, and then okay. flurry of blows is two unarmed strikes. Yes. Okay. Uh, thirteen plus twelve. Is Twenty-five hits. 25. Okay. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Hang on. Oh, yep. Cool. Five radiant. So seventeen. Yeah. You then take thirteen points of cold damage. Okay. Uh, and then it's two on. The Gwandal cuts into her. She's, you know, you're cutting away, but her flesh is so strong that it seems to be absorbing a lot of the impact. Fourteen. Fourteen to hit misses. Same again. Uh, so you kind of send out this flurry of blows, but you're just being cautious of this this cold shield around her. Um. On her turn, she looks at this Deva. You will soon become a problem. Be gone. Oh. And the Deva vanishes. Oh. Spell well. magic? Do I not get any save? Not against this spell. On the Deva's turn, I'll let you know what happens. Okay. Um, but the Deva just seems to get sucked away not cool, into man. space. I mean, does it look like. Uh, I mean, it's vanished. <laughs> you don't know where it's gone. Um, uh, hey, Laura. How's she looking? 
injured. She's got cuts, she's got blasts, she's got wounds all over her place, but you can see that her face is just twisted and contorted into anger and rage. I'm going to use my other blight scroll. Okay. On her. Uh, the DC... 18. 18. I mean, this is 20, so <coughs> even with a 7. Whoa. That's a lot of dice. Sorry. Oh, some 18, good numbers. Yeah. 28. 36. 38. Oh, so <laughs> Thank you. 15. Shut up. 19 Thank points. you. <laughs> You watch as the necrotic energy tries to pull some of her life force away, but she's just like, ah, ah. Um, You can see that part of her arm is like being sort of like malformed by the spell, but it quickly begins sort of like replenishing its vitality, but you can see that she's been drained of some life. Can I use a little boop, cure wound, a little healing word on myself? Okay. Four, bonus action, potion. Six, don't have. Oh. Okay. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your go? Do you want to move? Um, I can't move. She's okay. right next. She is right next to, to you. Uh, yeah. Can I move so that I'm not in the line? Of the yes, line you right can. Though. You can just stay around her. Um, so the Deva uh, finds itself in a endless, twisting, magical uh, labyrinth. That. Cool. That one. It can use its action to make intelligence check. So just a D20 plus its intelligence modifier. Is it and smart? this was a kind of this was supposed to be for one of you, but that Deva was too scary. Natural one. Ta. It continues to remain lost for now. Um, the lair action, she did that one. Uh, Rain Cam Buckland. Part as she screams, part of the ceiling collapses and crumbles. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Thank God. I, I hate it when bosses do that. Scream. What crumble the in ceiling? Like, in like video 21. games. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You dodge out the side. <laughs> <laughs> the ceiling collapses down on top of you. Reynard, your turn. Uh, I'm going to quaff a superior for a Excellent. bonus action. Uh, and Good boy. You do that. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, what else am I going to ping away at her? Shark shooter? Uh, Favourite enemy? Yeah. 21 HP oh from the potion. Stop using hot sharp shooter. Uh, sorry? 21 HP from the potion. Okay, 21. And I rolled so bad, even regular, if it wasn't sharp so shooter. These bolts, you're just panicking. You're like, you know, desperately yeah. firing around her. None of them seem to hit. At the end of your turn, she is going to uh, cast on herself because then she will be unaffected, but the rest of you will be. Cool. 10 foot radius sphere centered on her, so it will catch. The Deva is technically not there. Juto and Elora, can you both make constitution saving throws, please? I'm going to spend a key point and reroll. Fail. Fail. You both take 14 points of thunder damage. Well, what about a concussive shatter. Mm, ah, still a fail. 21, 21 is a is spell safety. Uh, so you watch as this kind of echoing thunderous roar erupts from around her. This is really tough. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's fucking Super. Difficult. She's running out on her resources though as well. Good. Um, Good. But, uh, so that was at the end of Reynard's turn. So Cam Buckland. I've um, so much damage. I'm going to simply throw gold heart and spiritual weapon. Okay, remember gold heart is now only a plus one weapon. So Nimbus. Nimbus is still Nimbus, uh, but gold heart is only a plus one weapon now. So, so there'll be one less powerful. bonus. Right. They're actually the same now. Oh, okay. I'll throw gold heart. Okay. So you flavor oh. sake, uh, 20. 20 to hit. No, she won't shield it. Yeah, it hits. Because it's so pathetic. Uh, you do get sneak attack damage this time because Elora and Juto are next to it. And the next turn, I should say. Uh, 14 points. 14 points. And then the bonus action will be Spiritual Weapon. Oh, natural, natural 20! Finally. Natural 20. So you throw the dagger. Um, were you aiming at her, or do you want to try and go for the Dawn Shard? You uh, spiritual that, weapon. Oh, the spiritual that, weapon. Yeah. Oh, is this with the spiritual weapon? This is with the spiritual weapon. So you try to smash float. it. Through. So you can choose to do the damage to the Dawn Shard. You I don't will. know how much it will take to destroy it. I absolutely will. Okay. Uh, so it's a D8, 5 plus 5, 10. And it deals radiant damage. Right? Radiant. Okay. <coughs> so you watch as the, the spiritual weapon, which looks like. Uh, Morella. 
In a sword form. In a sword, okay. A, a Morella kind of like a very decorative sword <laughs> smashes into the crystal and several cracks begin uh, forming throughout it. When it hits the Dawn Shard, Felania screams in agony, like a piercing, ah, as if she's just been stabbed mortally. Um, and you watch as power begins to almost leak and pulsate from it, kind of engulfing her. Focus um, on that. <laughs> she doesn't um, like it. <laughs> she's gonna kill you. Yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your go? Yes, I think okay. that's all I can do. Um, I'll stay crouched behind this. So. You stay crouched behind that because at the end of her turn, she holds up her hand and a thunderbolt appears, but this one seems to be glowing golden and she... Oh. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw, please. You get a plus two bonus from your cover. 13. 13 yeah, what? is not enough. It's behind a pillar. Cover. Ah. I thought you said color. I was like, what? <laughs> what are we doing now? <laughs> 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 Oh no. That's a lot of eights. Oh, oh shit. boy. How much are you on that? 58 will kill me. No. 58. 63. What? Are you really that low on health? But... 42. Oh my health. Yeah. <laughs> 63. Are you really that low? That's pretty much all well, my no, health. No, I mean, because it, what is it? If you lose. Um, and half, then it's yeah. Tito's go. Tito? No, it's, I've been corrected on that. You have to go, the damage has to go to your maximum. It has to basically do your HP again in negatives. Yeah. To kill you. Uh, yeah. So if you're on like one So HP. I'd have to do like, if Kim was on one and I did 76 points of damage to her, she'd be dead instantly. Dead at Rue. Yeah. Dead right, your turn, Juto. Yeah, I'm gonna straight up attack her. Okay. Um. Flurry? No. Okay. I'm gonna, first of all, can I quaff a, how much does superior healing potion do? Uh, 8d4 plus 8, I believe. 8d4 plus Maybe 8. Maybe I'm wrong on that, it might be less. I might have been giving you guys extra HP. I like that, that's fine. Yeah, that's you can fine. you can carry on doing that. I might do it for this one, but then I'll check. Uh, it's I'll have a look. Might give me quite a bit. Like so I'm probably... on 27, is that worth? Do you want to do your attacks, yeah. then I'll do the potion at the end. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I'm gonna bonus action, do that, and then. Yeah, it is 84 plus 8. Uh, fucking yeah. natural one. So the one down one. misses. Thank you. Uh, that is a 23. Uh, will hit. She will not shield. Ooh, 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 4. 6, 7, 8, 19. Take the enemy. <laughs> Don't do that because I'm trying to work stuff out. Uh, okay, so that strike hits into her side. Ah, you can see she's getting injured. Your potion healed you for 23. Thank cool. you. Uh, when you hit her, you hit her once, yes? Yep. You take uh, 10 points of cold damage. Um, then it is her go. <sighs> she's used that, she's used that, she's used that. She looks around. I'm not there. Causing a lot of pain right now. Not me. Not me. I can't oh, wait. Reynard. What? She looks up. How does she? You see her eyes flicker with power. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Wisdom. Oh. You get advantage on that. He does get advantage on these. Where's my d20? You have so many dice. Yeah, I know, but where's this one? Just roll one. Right there. We're oh. running out of time, by the way. Yeah. Uh, sweet wisdom save. Yes. That's a unnatural 20. That's not enough. enough. You are dominated. Ah! Oh, no. And she commands you, kill Cam Buckland. Wait, aren't you down? No. Oh. He will be. I'm going to correct Is that he... before I end my turn. Kill Cam Buckland, then the tiefling. No! Um, that's her go. She does nothing else. Elora. Dispel magic. You're going to cast Dispel magic? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. So, it's annoying you're casting a third level. Turn doing level that. five. You're going to yeah, cast it at level five. I don't want to die. The effect automatically vanishes. 
I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so lucky that you held your action, because otherwise I'd have been next. Then I'm yeah. going to do a That's your action. healing ward towards Cam. Okay. What's the diva doing? Uh, that's what we're going to find out. Okay, I just couldn't HP. remember where he was. He's stuck in a maze. No, I, I, as in, in the initiative. Yeah, no, he's next. Uh, Diva is still stuck in this maze. D20 plus intelligence modifier. Oh. No. Nope. What'd you roll? He's trapped. Three. Oh. So it's not concentration for her or anything? or. No. Yeah, he's no. gone. Maze is oh. not. Uh, she's very, very careful in what spells she picked. Just this really big, uh, heroic... Cat Buckland, can you make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw as lightning pulses between the two broken columns once again? I need to fucking move. Uh, 11. 11, you take 10 lightning damage. As this lightning channel just echoes between the two points. Um, that is the lair action. Reynard, your turn. Right. You would have gone next. Yeah, I know. That's a good thing. Um, good job. You held the action. Really good job. That was very smart saving that action. May as well, at this point, with a bonus. You action, saved that fifth level spell slot as well. Otherwise, I you did. had to roll for it. I'm going to cast Ensnaring Strike at level four. Apparently, Maze is concentration, so is Dominate Person. <gasps> no. Dominate Person is. Maze is not. Oh. I'm literally staring at the card. I checked it. Okay. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, she's taking damage. Oh, no, damage. it is. Yeah, it she's is. She's taking damage. <laughs> she should have taken... Wait, we've all done damage to her so, like, every time, So, uh, when right? she cast Dominate Person, the Deva reappears. Oh. So, no. Ooh. So, the Deva reappeared, so the Deva can go now. Yay. It's going to come back and be pissed, so come it's going to do a double attack. In all fairness, she probably wouldn't have casted Dominate Person, because she would know that she would have to concentrate on Maze. We've already done it, and I've used my turn. You as used well. your turn as well, so yeah, let's. Um, it would be a yeah, lot of wreck on it. Yeah, let's just put the David back. But, okay. yeah, okay. We're gonna have to wreck on a lot of stuff, boys. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, so I used a regular shot with a We'll call a level... it an error in her madness. This is a David. She's pretty mad. Just hold your um, turn a sec, because the David's here now. Yeah. Oh, okay. David's and let David go now. Um, Should I save that roll for next? Yes. Mm. Just keep a hold of it. Yeah, 27. 27 to hit, hits. Yeah, so it's <coughs> d6 and 48. So. But I can't, I, wish, I thought maze wasn't concentration, that's why I took it, but I um. probably did think that. Oh wow. Good 21. Catch, chat. 21 to hit, uh, 21 crazy, damage though, is that? Yeah. 21 damage. 21 damage. 21 damage. He's gonna attack again. Yes. Uh, he takes 13 cold damage. Okay. Just in case it does like KO him. That, that should attack. hit again, right? That was a 12, so... Yeah, plus, 12 eight, plus 8, 20. 20. She knows how hard this guy hits. She's going to spend her last shield to oh. block it. Then that is the Deva. That's um, the Deva, so now Reynard. Well, with a regular shot, uh, not sharpshooter, I hit with 21. So that would now miss because of the shield against the Deva, so yeah, that misses. Uh, so... <laughs> fine, another regular... So you kind of fire the bolt, but the fight with the Deva is kind of getting in the way. Okay, yeah, don't worry. Miss. You miss. Her shield lasts this whole turn, doesn't it? It lasts until the start of her next turn, yeah. And yeah, I've used a bonus action on the ensnaring strike, but it's the next time I hit a creep. Next time so. you hit, so you've got it still for now. So that was Reynard's go. Um, at the end of your go, she is going to Thunderbolt Cam, because she thinks that you're the source of this Deva. Oh, okay. So uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, 17. It's going to be full damage, I'm afraid. For 31 points of lightning damage. I am down. The Deva, however, does not go away, and you watch as Falanir is just like, Ow! Cool. You should be gone! Um, that was at the end of Reynard's turn. It is now your turn, Cam. Can you make a death saving throw for me, please? That's a fail. One fail. Uh, Juto. <laughs> Timber! God. Will the lightning of the. I'm not saying shit. <laughs> Juto, what are you doing? Wonder. <laughs> I mean. Natural one. Okay, first attack misses. Extra. Uh, extra attack. Second attack. 19. 19's not enough. This kind of invisible magical shield around her is just absorbing so many of the blows. Would you like to spend a key point on Flurry or just do a regular bon bon unarmed strike without spending a key point? 
I would like to bonus action limit break. With water? Yep. Try and restrain her. Conjure a 10 foot cube of ice. Dex okay. saving throw, please. Dex saving throw. She fails. Cool. Okay. And you are restrained. restrained until the beginning of your next, until the end of your next turn. Mm. So is that disadvantage on things? It means she can't move, her speed is zero, attacks against her of advantage, and her attacks have disadvantage. Nice. And she nice. has disadvantage on deck saves. She does. That's the end of your turn. Bonus section to limit break. Yeah. 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 It's her go. She kind of looks down at this ice, just laying there. <clears throat> no! No! Fine. I'll take one of you with me. Huh? She's going to cast Blight on Cam Buckland. Ooh. Is that him ultra, ultra dead then? Just straight up dead? I believe it's when you take a sword. It, actually, no. It's it's just one single death saving throw, I think, because it's a melee attack. She was going to walk over and stab you, which would have done two, but I believe that But she's, you would still take this damage because if she gets you to minus your max... If you're, what's your maximum 80, HP? 80. She can't do 80 points of damage, so this won't kill you outright, but it is another death saving throw automatically. Oh, it's a good thing you froze her. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that, that is what she would do. Like, she would absolutely do that to try and kill him. Okay. Yep. Do something. Um, and then Elora. I'm going to cast Heal on Cam. Okay. So that's 70. 70 hit points. Had, that's, that's, that's the last my, one. That's your that's seventh it. I'm, like, I'm pretty Thank much. Thank you. Are you out um, of spells? I'm not. I've got low, but it's that's. Nothing big. I've got nothing big left now. Nothing so. big left. He must be. Literally, at the I'm out end of, of your, At the end of your turn. I'm going to also um, give healing, myself. Healing words? Or a, a potion? That's fine, because as yeah. she sees you heal Cam, she furiously will throw a thunderbolt at you. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. You have disadvantage on attack rolls. This is she's not making attack rolls. She's spell. spells. Um, dexterity saving throw, please, Laura. Shit me, this could be bad for me. That's a fail. Oh, I'm gonna use luck. No, uh, I'd have to roll so high. Do it. <sighs> no, it's not now. Twenty-two points of lightning damage. Okay. And she hurls another lightning bolt. Um, the Davis go. We might run a bit late. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't want to leave this one mid-combat. I'm happy that me and Trot can stop the stream if need be. If David's gonna Is that okay, Sam? David's sorry, gonna buddy. fly up yep. and attack the Dawn Shard itself. Okay, so make an attack At roll. At that level. Yep. Oh, good, thank Thanks, you, Sam. Sam. Sorry, man. Um, I just can't. 22. 22 hits, but it doesn't hit the Dawn Shard. It hits her. Um, and she has no more shields. She can't shield herself against it. Holy holy. 11. I rolled four twos and a three. 11 damage. Yeah. Another attack. And see that she is getting weak. Like these wounds are just like blowing her apart. Like these heavy wounds in her body staggering around herself. 22 again. 22 hits. She can do nothing to stop it at this point. 22 points of damage. The Deva is just wailing on her, like, despite his wounds, he's slamming this golden sword into her, knocking her back as she shrieks in absolute agony and pain. Um, oh, I could have counterspelled the spell magic. Mm -hmm. That was stupid of me. Never mind. Again, down to her rage. Yes. Um, that was your go. No, that was the Deva's go. Deva's go. Lair action go. Um, <laughs> the lair is restrained. <laughs> the, lair is, the lair is not restrained. Yes, it is. Uh, Elora, rocks begin to <laughs> from the ceiling down towards you. Can you make a dexterity saving throw for me, please? Oh, man, this sucks. Oh, no. Ten bludgeoning damage, and you are restrained. You are not prone and buried. Uh, the rocks kind of cover <laughs> you entirely. While you are buried, you are restrained and you cannot breathe or stand up. But you can make strength checks to dig yourself breathe. free. Damn. I can't breathe. Not currently. You're like completely engulfed. You're like, <laughs> it's like crushing your chest and stuff. Um, Reynard. Reynard. Right. Uh, I mean, so she is currently. I currently get advantage while she's restrained. Um. So. So how long did it last? Two. Attack until um, the, the end of her turn. 
Yeah, well, she's taken her turn, so she's no longer restrained. What? Is she, it not the end of your turn? She cast Blight. That was the end of her next turn after well, you. It's the end of Kim's next turn, isn't it? Is it the end of your next turn or the end of the creature's next um, turn? So it was Wart's stance, wasn't it? Yeah. If it's um, the end of your next turn, then it's fine. But if it's the end of the creature's next turn, then it would be usually hers. Is. Restrained until the end of their next turn. Their next, their next turn. So yeah. it's basically it held her in place for like one round, basically. So, well, it stopped. Fine. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she's no longer restrained. Again, just regular she shot. She just breaks herself free of the ice. A regular shot is twenty-five. Hits. Uh, one d8 and a d6. Uh, seven, four, eleven. It feels like a long Favorite time enemy. since I hit. Um, Favorite enemy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, so that's. It's not sharpshooter. Ah, oh, where's my brain gone? 17, 21 damage. Also, she has advantage on a strength save against being restrained by ensnaring strike. The, okay. the, the little bowlers try and wrap around her leg and she just <laughs> snaps it with a vicious flick of her leg. It was worth trying. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to sharpshoot with this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like trying to aim. <laughs> Just launching fast as she's kind of ducking around, still making her moves. Even if it. At the end of your turn, she's going to throw a lightning, a thunderbolt at you. Uh -oh. Dexterity saving throw. Natural 20. twenty, baby. There we are. You're going to take half damage, which is half of seventeen, so eight, eight lightning yeah. damage. Uh, uh, Juto. Fire no, stop. Cam Buckland. Sorry. Fuck it. I'm going to cast Dawn. Okay. What's that? Uh, which means it's a 30 foot, 40 foot high cylinder, 30 foot radius, and I'm going to do it here. So yep, it, so it just, just clips her. Uh, each creature that must make a con saving throw, please. At 19 plus 13. That'll be 40, 10. 32. Uh, 40, 10 radiant damage halved. Yep, so roll that up. 10. 10. 1, 2. Three, Hunter's four. mark is concentration. Thank you. That had been long gone, like. Count it gone from now. Yeah. I think I've missed so many times that it's fine. I don't think I've actually smart, added yeah. any. There's damage. been errors and stuff, it's fine. Uh, 16. Oh my god. Yep. You watch as this light is just blinding her and you can see it sizzling away at her flesh. She's like, no! I will not be denied my vengeance! While I'm within. 60 feet of its range, I can move 60 feet. Okay. So I'm going to fuck off away from this pillar that's been fucking me <laughs> the whole time. 10, 15, 20, 25. Well, while you're within its radius. This is an, also a pillar with crackling lightning, you realize. And you also, you'd have to stay within the radiance of the dawn, so you yeah. can basically move to the edge of it, like there, yeah. Not near the pit, not near the pit, <laughs> away from the pit. About there, and bonus action, spiritual weapon. It's right beside her. Uh, yeah, you can hit with a spiritual weapon. 18 plus 10, 28. That's Please. a hit. That is a hit. It's a 4 plus 5, 9. Damage. <clears throat> she staggers for a moment, but she's still standing. She's just like, uh, looking the around. Simulacrum was far more attractive. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No, I'm not necessarily sure she's listening at this point. Juto. Actually, sorry, at the end of your turn, there is a gust of wind that tries to pick up Cam Buckland. Can you make a strength saving throw for me, please? Into the point. I'm really strong. 13. 5, 10, 15, 20. You are like, you are just uh, bouncing on the edge, desperately holding on. Juto, your turn. She's looking real bad, right? Yeah, really injured. Okay, I'm going to just smack her up. Smack her up upside the head. Oh, the lights, it's like there's, she's affecting them. Yeah. 17 <laughs> plus 12. 17 plus 12. To hit is I 29. Yep. Damn. Uh, 10, 14 total. Okay, hang on. Stop right there. Thank you very much. So how much was that? 14, 14 total. 14 total, so that would go to... Okay, so you take 12 points of cold damage. You watch as Juto reaches up and with the Gwandao, she slams it into Falania's chest. She stumbles back for a moment, 
like touches it as you see blood pouring through her chest. Uh -huh. She staggers back. And then as she begins to kind of almost go to collapse, her white hair blazes gold, oh. flies outward, and <laughs> as it does, a ring on her finger seems to break or like a crackle of energy and healing energy flows through her a little oh, bit. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Second attack, Juto. You watch, just like some of her, like the injury that Juto caused just ever so slightly heals up. 19 plus 12. Hits. Three. Three, one. Eight. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 damage? Yep. Okay. The Gwandao slashes into her a second time. <clears throat> Grunts, but still standing. Flurry. Oh, sorry, you should have taken more cold damage. Uh, that would be 13 more cold damage you just took. Uh, 19, That's gonna hit. 29. Yeah, it's going to hit. Six. Six. She's still standing as you roundhouse kick. Six more cold damage. 23. Hits. 11. 15 points of cold damage, please. Oh, oh. I'm down. down. You, oh. So you watch as Juto, she launches up, throws herself in, and one solid punch <laughs> connects with Felania. Cold traces up Juto, covering her body as her body slams down onto the ground. But you watch as Felania just... <clears throat> Blood trickles out of her mouth. My destiny. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> we're still on initiative. So, can someone save people? I think are we still on initiative. I mean, yeah, we need to get yeah. to Juto. Right. You have to, so, yeah, it would be after Juto, Elora would go. Do you have a, a healing word or anything to heal Juto? Well, you're, uh, she's oh, you're buried. I'm buried. You're buried. What would you, so you can make a strength test to pull yourself free. This is your action, however. Nope. I mean, what's the total? Ten. That's enough. What? You're fucking, you're just, <laughs> it's wrong. Oh, you're like so pulling yourself I, free. Go, go, go. Bonus action, shout at healing words to you, Tom? She is within range. So, <laughs> so oh, with that, no. <laughs> you can stabilize Juto. The castle fall. Four. Eight. But that is enough to ah! keep her from dying. And that is where we will have to wrap things oh. up. This oh. week because we're already at bang on eight o'clock. Oh. I didn't want to oh. combat. Um, I we was, can deal with the oh aftermath of all of this next, but two pillars are still remaining. And, and the stone. Felania is defeated. Out of interest. I would like to know uh, what HP you were on. I was on. Zero. 92 out of 112. Oh, because you got healed up quite a few times. Quite a few times, yeah. Cam? I'm at 70 because I got heal. You got me. heal. Hey, Laura? 34 hit points, but you did 112 to me in <laughs> elemental form, too. I had one key point left. So I think I took probably a lot of the damage, most damage. A lot of close calls. We were really close. That was some close and calls. And I had to pull a wish. You had to not just pull a wish, you tried to divine intervention as well, which is a week before you get that back. Yep. Um, and I think all of you were pretty much out of spells, I was, weren't like, you? I was done. And oh, what did yeah. you have left? Oh, that was it. Yeah, the was the last one. The dawn was the last spell. Yeah. Damn, so it would have been down to the two fighters. I had one more. He just rolled, a he rolled it just natural 20. So it was down to you two. What you happened? Were both, you were taking damage every time you hit yep. her. Um, well, I was thinking he in my head, because I had two key points left, so I was going to bonus action go into fire stance, but then I was like, well, then I can't flurry on this turn, and if she's close... Also, she had resistance to fire with the chill I thought so, yeah. So I was just... Well, I was more looking for the so, crit. Let's oh. read some donations really quickly. Sam, I'm so sorry to keep you. I just didn't want to leave that on that note. I absolutely made the right choice there and just going yeah. for her, not so, wasting it. So, I'm happy to tell you, she had 416 HP. Oh my god. And she healed herself for 31 points with a 31. ring of spell storing that she had. I think I only hit her for like 20. Which I kind of house ruled <laughs> that could activate as a contingency. Please. Uh, Nightjar, thank you very much. Lots oh. of hearts, thank Please. you for the message. Oliver Renve, thank you for the donation, but no message. 
I'm going to read these really quick, guys. Uh, Just, you, Oshie, you do it. This Go is the first it. stream I've caught, I've caught online, and I've been a fan for a long time, and I started watching your stuff. And then when you first mentioned uh, Critical Role, I started watching that as well. Well, I'm glad very much. Thank you, Ozroshi. Metamanu's donated generous donation. Thank you very much. Hello there. I can't watch live tonight, so VOD Squad for me this week. I hope I will not mess up my donation this time. Have a great game, and those shiny dice will be mine. Always uh, happy with your merch. Thank you very much. Mossy Oak, 1992. Hundo. <laughs> Hundo. Thank you very much. Hey guys, you're all amazing people and so inspiring. Keep doing what you're doing, keep being so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Masayu. Thank you very much for that. Jackman333 donated $20. Hey, Rollers. I just need to, you all to know that how much I love you all. You guys helped me through some tough times. My girlfriend two years left me this January. That's very sad, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, you are all, mean all so much to me. I cannot physically express it. Please keep smiling. Well, thank you very much, Jackman. We're your Smile girlfriend now. now. In the future. Jerking off the trot. <laughs> Donated. Please shove Tom's bone dice up my dick hole and tell me you love me. Finally back to catch you wow. cow people live. Fuck me, I'm hard for trot. Mark, your new glasses make me wet. And Tom, your jumper makes me salivate. Cheers, ladies, and see you next time. Thank a you very much. Violated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a little violated. Thank you very much. Great stream, you guys. I've been watching Yogscast live up until now. In honor of my favorite ranger, here's a load, little donation. Keep it up Thanks. for the wow. rainy day. The rain. Rainy day. <laughs> your body has donated. Hey, guys. Rainy loving day. the new yeah. dice. Yeah. I have both sets so far. The problem is, though, you keep making spin down dice. We can't use yes. them like a paint. They sit in the room looking beautiful, gathering dust. Come on, guys. Well, you'll be glad to hear that hopefully in the future we will be changing. Also, I really dice. don't see the problem with using Some them DMs yet. really don't like them, and mm. it's not something. Fair. Control. Well, uh, Vela Wild Hond, Hond donated. Finally able to watch live, and it's towards the end of my favorite campaign so far. Thank you guys for all of the entertainment and the laughs. You've given so many people who've needed it. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Dancing on Fire donated. I missed the last two weeks live, and listening to those VODs was nerve wracking to catch up. You guys had me tearing up at work this week. Glad to be back though, so I can potentially cry my eyes out at home instead. Well, no tears hopefully needed this time. Yeah. Dancing on Fire. Florent10 donated. Thank you very much. Hey guys, I've been missing watching you lovely people for a while because I started finals this week, starting with the toughest ones. Mm. I'm too busy studying right now. I look forward to catching up on this episode. Love you guys and wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Zero the Duke luck. donated. Thank you very much. I know the next game isn't going to be in the same world, but can we at least get the return of Captain Bumphook? He's my favorite character. Sorry, Ted. Told you. Love you guys. Going to be sorry to see this campaign end, but looking forward to the future too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you very much. Ah, no. Smiley faces. Smiley faces. I'm going to say ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Uh, Cayman Hunter. Another ha 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 ha. No. Thank you very no. much. Hey, hi, Rollers. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 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 Mark, I'm also using a cloud giant villain in my 5e game, though he has attempted to gain complete control of the elemental plane of air. Does Flania need a friend? Not anymore. She no. doesn't. She did. Uh, she did. How beautiful is that? Thank you very much. I'm picturing the castle looking like a castle of lions from Voltron. There's certainly an element of that. Shame you don't have the paladins of Voltron on your side, though. Me too. God, I love Voltron. Uh, <laughs> Severaka, thank you very much. Loved the entire campaign. Tried to catch up. Uh, was not one episode off, but did manage it. Thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, the GG Wizard 16 so donated. Fast. Thank you very much. My online D&D group didn't turn up today, and I'm also having various people drop out because one of the reasons or another. And I had my first compl complaint today, not enough RP, though we do it anyway. Ask him to next one, and we will try to resolve it. I'm glad to hear it. Communication is key to good groups. Thank you very much Indeed. for your donation. Lord Ouija, thank you very much for the quarter hundo. I, Lord Ouija, Lord of Pleasureville and Shitton, had decided that some money must be thrown at you plebs. May the luck of the gods find their way into your dice and into your wallets. P.S. Try as a twat. Hat Films fan by any chance? DT2108, thank you very much for the donation without any message. Thank you very much. Such a quick response. Varys, my internet is being really shitty for some reason, so the stream starts buffering every five minutes and is pretty unwatchable, so I guess I have to watch the VOD. This is now ruined my Sunday, so I hope your day is going to be better than mine. Well, thank you very much, Varys, anyway. Hope you enjoy the VOD. Bowman H has donated 300 Twitch bits. Here comes the triple donation merch bit. Shamrock, cheer. Thank you very much. Kristen Sulemia, thank you very much. Donation. Ah, this episode is so intense. Since it's my birthday tomorrow, I've decided not to use some of my to decided to use some of my birthday money oh. to donate to you, lovely bunch. Well, happy birthday! Happy birthday! I hope you have the thank you for the drawings. Yes, thank, thank you. I need to give drawings. it to these guys. Very much appreciated. Bauman H has donated again, this time with a half hundo. Hi, Rollers. Nice. Love you all to bits and hope that you never change, at least not too much. Hi, Rollers is what keeps me from my boredom and insanity. He's living in Germany for work and everybody I know is in Denmark. Thanks to the fortune, all you all. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so much. You. Sinner donated with no message. Thank you very much. Buck719 donated 300 Twitch bits. Uh, bits for bosses, Shield of Freezing Hot. Thank you very shield much. If you want me to take over, take over say. for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Gary Stonehill says, guys, I want to thank you for giving me two years of great fun and enjoyment. I find it pathetic. However, this is the first stream I ever caught live. Anyway, once more, thank you for everything. Thank you. And G-Chan, zero, donated 505 Twitch bits, saying, Kimmy looks so pretty today. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremy donated $20, saying, hi, guys. I was going to donate, but I couldn't resist the dice. But then I had to let you know, so win-win. Thanks for being awesome advocates of my favorite hobby. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Punchy a uh, light lights out. Lights out. Punch your lights out. Donated a half hundo. Half hundo. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to say thank you. Harold has helped me get through my writing dissertation, and now I'm all caught up, so I can watch live. Also, congrats. Uh, Draghorn donated. Thank you very much. Fantastic fight, guys. I love how Falani turned out so much like Azula from Avatar. Loved every moment so far. Hope you guys are all live and don't die horribly. Good luck. I almost died. Lol. So did I. Twice. Twice. Donated. Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Those dice look so good. I'm definitely going to buy them. Off to the dog store. I currently have a dice set, so these will be my first. I will hopefully get them to use when my D&D group meets up back in the summer. Good luck with it. Mm. Ace of Thorns donated. Yeah, Great to see the team positively. Absolutely take no shit. Woohoo! MCM. Sad face. Hope someone will be around to catch me cosplaying my ass off. Hugs all around. Thank you very much. Good luck. Kellen of Resden. Resdane. Donated. Stop watching after Melody slash Winterspire because of a move and stop playing D&D soon after that for the first time. Soon start playing D&D for the first time in four years. After a month of binging, of course, I'm finding a group to play with in my new town. Thanks for reigniting with the passion. You're Yay. welcome. Do you want Tom to take over? Uh, where are we? Uh, Tom Roller366 uh, with 200 Twitch bits. Thank you very much. Uh, the Nord's House. So, you are all still alive. That is good. Big bag loco boss is defeated. Even better. Now, how would one prevent a castle in the sky from falling? It's I right. think it's not falling at the moment. Um, They've got two stakes still. Tannis <coughs> Barbarian with a thousand Twitch bits. GG peeps, thank you very much. Nightjar. All the happy clapping. That end. I've been biting my lip from the tension. It started to bleed. Worth oh it. God. I can't believe two plus years ago I was watching boring TV on Sundays like a scrub. <laughs> Avandra. <laughs> Bless high rollers. Thank you very much, Nightjar. Zafir1. Uh, ooh, that was a spicy <laughs> fight. After two years, you guys finally beat that big bitch, and it was a pleasure to watch the journey. It came damn close too, but that final mega punch from Juto was fucking majestic, and it was all for Tannisvel! Salute. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Bandai Nenzai, what a fucking episode! All I have to say, uh, I have nothing else to say but Juto! <laughs> nice! Uh, who wants awkward dog boner? Sure. Wow. Awkward dog boner! Something, something, favorite enemy, Tom. Something about cock and balls, blah, blah. Just take my money. Hashtag fuck for wow. Thank you very much. He couldn't much. even use his normal format. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we Thank you it. very much for all the donations. I'm sorry we had to go through them so quickly, Thank but we need to let you. Sam get home. Um, yeah. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support. We will be back next week. This is not the end of no, the campaign. No, we will not be back next week. No, we're not. Me and Trot are away. <laughs> we'll be back the week after. They're guys. LARPing. They're LARPing. We'll, like we'll be back nerds. the week after that. This is not the final episode of this campaign. There are still some things to resolve. There's that we loads of things. It is just very close to the end. Make sure you come back and watch. We not might still week, crash. After. Um, See you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. For Talisman. For Talisman. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.